That's what bro, I'm saying. If we crazy. have another war, it's gonna get fucking crazy. Yeah. Niggas, oh my god, bro. The horny niggas is gonna attack, bro. That yeah, shit is wild, bro. Gonna, like they not gonna. They not going. That shit probably some bad. That some, some nasty bad. sex, but that shit disgusting. Yo, bro. what are you talking <laughs> Imagine about? Imagine that shit. What are you talking about? PTSD niggas coming back from the <laughs> fucking war. Yo, chill war. out. All right, bro. It's a new year. Look, I got. I gotta look different now. I got glasses. <sighs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll take that off, bro. I don't look nice with glasses, bro. I'll take that off, bro. We need to, you know, remember back in the days when we was in middle school, glasses was a thing, bro. You was one of those I was one of those niggas. I was one of those niggas. I was one of those niggas. I was one of those niggas, but glasses was, glasses was cool back in the day, you know, the prescription, no, non-prescription. The non-prescription, gl- niggas used to get that shit from the kiosk in the mall. Yeah, bro. I was one of those niggas. See, look, but bring it, it, ain't, it ain't cool no more. Actually, no, glasses is cool, but not those glasses. These are bro. like, you Take know, them these, shits off, these are like the, the, what's that called? The, um, the Blu-ray glasses, the blue light glasses. Like, you know, when you're on your phone and like, you're not, it's not supposed to be good for your eyes. This is supposed to like protect your eyes. So like, this is what. Like UV, it, 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 it's, it's called, called blue, blue, blue I think, what? I think it's called blue light. Blue light? Like, I think that's what, I don't know if that's what the brand called, but what the thing is called. I think it's either blue light. Cause you, I don't think it's UV. It's not UV. UV, UV, UVs is like like sun, microwave. I think. Yeah, yeah, microwave. Yeah. So I, I think. Said the sun. Like I said the, no, I think that's true too. I think that's. Oh, UV okay, good, okay, okay, good. Okay, but I like, thought it, I was <laughs> like you know that nigga clicks. The nigga that be the the dude that be playing Fortnite. Fortnite. Yeah, he be wearing this shits when he plays. Oh, word. Yeah, like a lot of the gamers be wearing just to help the eyes out and shit. You guess what the fuck you wearing it for? Bro, it's a new nah, year. We gotta, we I gotta thought. look different. Nah, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I might have gave me some glasses, bro. Like but, you, like but, prescription glasses. Nah, nah. Oh, so you're gonna get? You was just about to hit on me, and you nah. Get those fit. glasses is ass. What glasses are you gonna get? Like those, those glasses that Chris be wearing and shit. Oh, like the. Um, I'm about to start wearing glasses, cuz. Like you mean like the shades? Those are called. Those are shades. Are they like shades? Like they're like different color tints. Yeah, different color tints. And they're yep. like small. Yep. <laughs> you gonna see me? They can try to look like the niggas from the Matrix, bro. But you gonna see me? Like in this? Them, they like they're like this shit. This big? Are you, okay, don't get the oval ones. Nah, not the oval ones. It's like, like rectangle. the rectangle ones. Okay. <laughs> don't hold me, bro. <laughs> but I say the oval ones. I'm trying to picture you with them. Hold on. You look like a millionaire, bro. I look like a millionaire. You, you got money, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> All right, man. That's all I need to do here, bro. Hey, bro. Well, hey, I'm about to step out, bro. It's like, nah. <laughs> Yo, this is nigga, bro. Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast. Episode number. Do you know what episode we are on, Fritz? Oh, God. Put you on the spot. I'm starting to lose One... track sometimes. 18? 121. Wow. He was close. He was close, though. Wow. Episode 121. First episode of the new year, 2000. Oh, yeah. Happy new year to y'all. Happy new year. I'm your host, DW. You got Fritz. Hope y'all had, like, a safe New Year's and Christmas. Hopefully you spent it with y'all family. They're not out drinking, you freaking alcoholics. I'm talking to you right here in the camera that's out there in the partying till 4 o'clock in the morning, not with your mother. Crazy work. Yeah, if you did drink, bro, hope you did not drink and drive. Drank safely. And uh, <laughs> um, responsibly, bro. That's straight like that. What if somebody didn't do that, Fritz? Then you're a horrible person. Maybe they're straight not like watching that. this podcast right now. Horrible person. If you do, if you drink and drive, if you don't drink responsibly, bro, you're a horrible person. Bro. Straight like that. What if they're not here right now? Dang, okay. bro. Why you dark. just tweet? <laughs> Yo, take that off, bro. <laughs> Yo, this is not me right now, bro. This is this is my this glasses, alter ego. Bro? It's, my, it's that glasses, bro. It's the alter ego. What? What's the name? Latrell. Yo, I hate <laughs> this nigga, bro. Oh, my God, bro. Nah, no be, way. Why did I think he was going to say that, though? Nah, I be thinking about it, bro, because you got to think about it, right? Like, no fucked up shit. Like, just on a serious note, we have over 560-something thousand followers. Yeah. How many of those people you think aren't here with us right now? Oh, man, that is a crazy question. That's wild. That's wild to think. That's some wild shit. Yeah, oh, man. R.I.P. to R. P. To, to the to the fallen soldiers, man, to, to, the, to the people that are here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's, I, I mean, thank you for your support. I don't know what to say. I'm scared. <laughs> you put me on the spot. <laughs> R.I.P. R. P. is going to keep going. 
RP to everybody, man. To, to the niggas that <laughs> to our soldiers. To, to, to the niggas that's not there, man. That's I crazy, mean, and they still they still support him, supporting though, bro. Yeah, they still supporting, but damn, I don't even know what to say. Can we <laughs> skip the subject? Yo, if y'all see me with two do rags, bro, bro, I'm wolfing right now, bro. How many weeks? I, shit, it's been like a cool. Damn, it's been a, like a cool. I say, I say, a cool two months. Two months? So wait, two, you just two, go to do the barber shop and get lineups? Yeah, get lineup, you know, get a taper. Okay, so what's the point of wolfing? Like what is the point of all this? To gain progress, bro. Progress in what? <laughs> like in ways, bro. <laughs> like, Shit like that, bro. You just gain progress in ways, bro. Like I never understood y'all waivers, bro. I never y'all take care of y'all hair more than niggas. More like than me, niggas. But like, it, yeah. I feel like I do it for no reason. Huh? I feel like I do. I, y'all do like a little. Why? Why? Because like, bro, if you if you if you want your waves to be nice and nice and clean and and then sharp, you gotta take care of them. Okay, you can take care. But of But I them. feel like we do do a lot. Like these niggas, but the, I feel like they do it for content. Like these niggas be wolfing for a year straight with the nah, head looking see, like this. No, yeah, see, that's that's wild. for content. That's wild. And that's wild. I couldn't even like. Do it. You, you you remember Sir Cruz? You remember Sir Cruz? Yeah, he, that got, nigga, he got braids now. The nigga yeah, gave up. Yeah, he ain't give up. <laughs> he gave up, bro. He ain't give up, but that nigga gave nah, up, bro. He, but I done seen that nigga like I don't know, bro. It was yo, his hair was crazy, bro. His hair was crazy, and that nigga still could lay that shit down. I would not even be able to lay my hair down, bro. bro he got mad hair now. Nah, yeah, his hair, mad. his cuts be crisp. Is he it's a barber? Crisp as fuck. Bro. He's a barber, right? I don't think so, bro. He but I think he up. does his his old shit, but he's not. I don't think he's like a barber. Mm. He works at he works for Amazon, you know. Does he really? Yeah, Amazon driver. Oh shit, he getting out the mud, bro. Yeah, I'm just bro saying, he, your favorite influencer might be is an Amazon driver. Yeah, he. I mean, he still does like normal shit. Like he still does like um like YouTube or does he do YouTube? I think I mean, he, he does YouTube guy. content. Probably like 500k, maybe. Oh, so he just does that. I guess he just does that to get money or some shit. Yeah, I mean, to get money. Shit. he probably doesn't get you know, not a lot of YouTubers get the amount of money to live off of. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so, look at us. <laughs> this nigga just exposed me. You calling me broke, bro? Nigga, I said us. No, I'm not. Don't saying. put me in your yeah, situation, bro. <laughs> I ain't broke, bro. I, yo, we're just like, we're not broke. We're just, we're just. Let's not, hold on. Let, let's not talk about the money with these niggas, bro. Yeah, bro. Why are you? Good, yeah, bro. yeah. Talk. Why are you talking? Why are you talking too much, bro? <laughs> you talking? It's the too glasses, much, bro. bro. It's the glasses. Yeah, take them off, bro. Oh, uh, actually, I forgot something. I forgot the iPad. Hey, Libby, can you give me the iPad? Take shout them out to off, bro. Why not, bro? Does it make you uncomfortable? Oh, shout bro? out to Libby. Yeah. Does it make you uncomfortable? I got glasses on, bro. You, uh, you look like Peter Pan, bro. Who? I mean Peter Parker, bro. <laughs> I think it said Peter Parker. Peter Parker's white. Is yeah. that like a white man? I don't look like nah. That's a, that, you that don't should look be like a white man. Dang, bro, I hurt my feelings. But bro. you do. But you. But you do got the glasses of a white man, bro. Dang, bro. I'm, I promise you, bro. I mean, I don't know, bro. I feel like you, 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 you weren't built for glasses, bro. I told. Did I tell you the story about me like finessing glasses? Why though? Because all right. I was like in fourth grade, and I remember I had astigmatism. I think that's what it's called. I don't know that I'm using a proper term. So they get just saying shit, bro. It's either no, it was a st- it was something. One eye was stronger than the other one, so it was, it was. Oh, thank you. It was this eye was weaker than this one, so like right. you know how it was like twenty twenty. It was like it was like sixty twenty or some shit. So right. I had to wear an eye patch. So I put an eye patch on this eye, so this eye could get stronger or whatever. And then I would have to, like, read and shit and, like, like do my homework with that eye patch on, like, probably, like, two hours a day for, like, maybe, like, six months. I had it for six months. And then I remember um, I went to the I went to the doctor, and I, I had to do the eye test, and I left my glasses at home. So I, w- I looked at the thing before we did the exam, like the, like, the letters and shit. I memorized all the letters. So when he asked me, I just knew what it was. Oh, okay. And, like... Like I could see, like okay, I could see, I like you stole some joint. No, no, no. Like I could see okay. it, but like if it, like if I, like since I already knew what it was, I can like guess what the yeah, picture well, is. Yeah. So like I just did that. He's like, dang. He was like, 
And the the doctor didn't do it. You know the nurses always be doing it. Yeah. So the nurses, so the nurse did it. She sent the doctor. It's like, wow, your eye test is pretty good. Like, did you wear your use wearing your glasses? I was like, no, I left my glasses at home. She's like, really? He's like, you don't need glasses no more. I was like, oh, I bet. Ever since then, I never wore glasses, bro. So, but you, but you had glasses. Yeah, I had glasses when I was like in fourth grade. I had glasses. Yo, I had a fucking, I had a, a spacer. What the fuck is that? Like. <laughs> I had some weird shit, bro. I didn't have like you know how normal kids have glasses that braces. I didn't. Have, I had like the off-brand weird shit, nigga. Like, so I guess the top part of my mouth was small, too small. Wait, you had braces? It's not. It well, wasn't a spacer. Bro? It was called a spacer. So like they put it on the bottom of the top of my mouth. Like, right here. Oh, that. Yeah, and then like every every month, like it would tighten and it would like expand my jaw out. Because, like, it was too small and I was going to have, like, an underbite. So, I guess I expanded it out and, like, gave me what I have now. So, you had glasses and that? Uh, yeah. You was a I loser. got that in fifth grade. What you mean? You was a loser. You say people with glasses are losers? Nah, the spacer is what did it. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga. Because <laughs> why? You, you was a loser, bro. You didn't have none of that, bro? You always had straight teeth? Yeah, bro. You never had cavity? Nah. The fuck? Did you eat candy? Nah. Well, yeah, yeah, when I was younger, yeah, I think so. Like, when do you even know that you have a cavity? Like, Yo, tooth start hurting? Yeah, I never had that, bro. You never had that? You never wore glasses? You never wore none of that? Yeah, I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this this nigga. Nigga. Nah, yeah, nah, I never had a cavity in my, in my life. I, like, I never, like, I, d- does everyone have wisdom teeth? Yeah. I never had my wisdom teeth taken out. Like, Me don't, neither, it, no, don't it start hurting? It does, but like I haven't got it taken out either. But like I, my dentist be telling me like you gotta take it out soon. Like you, it's it's better to get it out now than when you're older because it's gonna hurt. Oh uh, really? Yeah, be like it. Like sometimes it do hurt because it's like the way your teeth grow in. It's like so this is your one tooth, right? Your wisdom teeth grows like this. Mm-hmm. So it's always if it grows, it's gonna hit this tooth, and that's why the back of your your jaw starts hurting, and then it'll start like going like this, really? and now it'll like open up like that little skin here. Like right here in the back of my, you can see mine. Oh really? Like, like it's like right here. It's like opened up because it's like it's like open up my my skin and shit. Oh. So like I do need to get it taken out, but I'd be afraid, bro. All right. So like when you do like, no, there's a person cavity. Is it is it is it like, does it turn dark in the middle in a in a in a on the like? I think it turns like it's like black. It's like, like it, black. That's a cavity. Yeah, it's like black. Okay, cool. Like say you got a um. I don't got that shit though. I know. I've nigga, seen people with that shit. You better bro. knock on wood, bro. You better yeah, get that shit this wood, year, bro. bro. I, I hope I don't get no cavity. I, I don't really eat candy like that, anyways, right now. Like, but I did used to eat candy. You I never mean, got a I filling? Never, I never experienced none of that, bro. Have you been to the dentist? Yeah, I've been to the dentist. Because some people don't go to the dentist. I've been to the dentist. Okay, but you never got like a filling. They just been like, dang, you got perfect teeth. Nah, like, I, I like. I don't know, bro. Like you never got I, probably, I, probably did, I probably did get a feeling before, but I never got like I don't know, bro. Like I remember, I got my I got a couple of teeth pulled out when I was a kid. I my, never got a t- my tooth pulled out. Really? Nah. Like your teeth? Like all right? Have you ever like like had a loose tooth? They had to pull that shit out. Nah, I've always done that for myself. Like you just the fuck you just went like this and pulled it out. Like like when when I had like my. When I was younger and I had my teeth like was falling out, some tooth would fall out. I did it my damn self. This nigga was just like a fucking Amazon. I kid. did it my damn self, bro. I did like I just pulled it out my damn self, or like, or like um, I did do the door trick. And one, oh, you did that? Yeah, it worked. I, yeah, it did work. I used to do. They used to. I used to do it with my cousin. I used to put it to a uh, a Nerf gun and shoot it. Huh? I used to like <laughs> I'll tie the tooth to a Nerf gun like a bullet. And I shoot it, and it goes, and that shit flies. It worked. It worked, yeah. That's tough. Same, yeah, bro. I, I did, I did the door. But I, yo, I think that dentists are scamming niggas, bro. I feel like they're breaking your teeth. They be breaking your teeth on purpose. Really? Like think about, think about. Why like, is it like the instruments that they use? Either the inch because I be yo. I be, yo, uh, by the way, guys, my fault, bro. What? Sorry to interrupt you. If I if I sound sick, it's because I. <laughs> He's getting better. He was sick for the last time. I'm getting week. over a, a a a coldness, a little a little sickness. Yeah, man. COVID. I, I, don't don't do that. <laughs> like I, I don't think now. I had COVID. I don't, I don't think I had COVID. I didn't try. I didn't test. 
But I don't think so. I was, bro. Yeah, bro. If you sick, bro, you sick, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Real shit, bro. For New Year's, bro, I I was sick, so I'm just got now getting over. Yeah, it, nigga's bro. just been in the crib, but hey, bro, he still came out to see y'all people. He's three years straight. I I think you've been on the first pot every year for the last three years. Really? I think so. I hope so. That that'll be tough. Hey, let's keep it going. It's, it's an- tradition now. Oh, so it's an anniversary. Yeah. Happy anniversary, Fritz. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> my th- my th- three year anniversary, bro. Yeah, it's three year anniversary. I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? I think it feels excited. But nah, so and for, I had perfect. Uh, come on, give oh yeah, perfect, perfect attendance too. This nigga was by yo. I text this nigga. <laughs> Do you see my text? Yes. <laughs> I text this nigga. What I texted you yesterday. You didn't say nothing. I was like, yo, I need to know by tonight. He texted me back. I sent him so much. I sent him all this shit. I text him like, yo, come at this time. Let me know you're pulling up this out there. He don't say nothing. And, yeah. Okay. So at that time. I was washing my hair, so I was a little bit busy. So, therefore, <laughs> I'm going to text you after. But after I was done, I'm like, why text them if I'm going to go there anyways? So, because yeah. te- I didn't know you was coming, though. Huh? I, I didn't know you was coming, low-key. I thought you were just going to fo- fold on niggas. My day, I, if I wasn't going to come, I would have told you. I thought you sleep, actually. Oh, uh, that, that does happen a lot. Yeah. Bro, you know, bro, I, and the reason why it was delayed also, bro, I'm, 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 I'm going, you know, I started my car and shit like that. Nigga, why do I see a parking ticket in, South, in, in my car seat or in my car window, you had a bro? parking ticket on your street? Nah, but it wasn't on my street. What was it? Like, I, I guess I didn't see it. Or whatever when I was driving, but I guess it was there already. What? I don't know. Uh, it like I was. I was oh going oh! To, I was going to McDonald's. Like not McDonald's. I went to um, shit. Where did I go to? Domino's and shit like that. The one by your crib? Yeah. Yeah. That's where you parked your car at in front. Of yeah, it? I parked it. And I parked it inside there. Went inside there for like two seconds. I guess I didn't see it, you know. And how I, much is a parking ticket? It's like forty dollars for what? Dang. I was only there for two seconds, bro. <laughs> for two <laughs> seconds, bro. I, I was so I was like, yo, what? He was like waiting for your ass, bro. Like I, I didn't and I'm pretty sure there's a two hour limit in that street too, bro. Do you do you know that song? You been there? But you talking about behind Domino's. Like that parking lot nah, or the front of Domino's. Yeah, that little parking area. You didn't see a cop pull up and give you a ticket? What are you talking about? How what? are you gonna see that? Wait, where are you wait, which Domino's are you talking about by your house? You know which one is by my house, right? Yeah, that Domino's. You went to there. Moore's. Yes, you went there. Yes. <laughs> okay, first of all, that's like a two-minute walk. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I was already in the car, so I said, fuck it. It was cold. <laughs> so I said, li- he li- Fritz literally lives down the street. Like, not even, it's probably, not even two minutes, maybe oh, a minute, my a minute walk Yo, to don't Domino's. don't give me that, Okay, bro. so you parked where? Like, I parked in front. In front of Domino's. Okay, and you walked in there. I walked in there, and you didn't see. I'm paying for a tick. I'm paying for my food. But is your why food, am I going back? Is why your food already back? ready? No. Well, it was yes, but she. But <laughs> you know, I'm paying for it. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay for it. You know, it's behind me. I'm. I'm. How I'm quick afraid. that? How quick did that cop? It took. A, it took a while. I'm not gonna lie. No, me, me, <laughs> me, me paying for that shit took took a little bit too long. I was waiting for that receipt to pop up a little bit too long. That I feel like that, she 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 was setting me up. <laughs> she seen the car behind you was like it was just typing the numbers mad slow so you get that ticket. Nah, Shorty was probably setting me up because that that receipt got out the like the machine whatever. Like it took so long. <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, wait, what's going on? Dang, bro. And then I guess I didn't see the ticket while I was driving back home. So you have to pay a forty dollar ticket. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna dispute that shit. What you gonna <laughs> What you gonna say? It says two hour parking limit. Oh, okay, okay. I don't know what time it was. Maybe it says like nine a.m. to like five. What time did you get this pizza? What time did I get that pizza, man? <laughs> nine yeah, it was probably like four because I dropped off my sister, bro. Okay, all right. So it's in two hour parking limit. That's with. That's yeah that from nine to nine p.m. to nine a.m. to five p.m. I mean, yeah. Oh, you could probably fight that one. I'm gonna fight that motherfucker, bro. Niggas don't. Pay I'm gonna 40. fight it, bro. I'm not paying forty dollars, bro, for somebody and do. I'm gonna dispute it, bro. 
Because why are you doing that, bro? Hey, bro. I, I used to get no. I used to get parking tickets at Rutgers all the time. Them should be like fifty five dollars. Oh man, you was just paying how many? Nah, there was one time, bro. Like this this semester, I didn't I didn't have my parking permit like in place. Nigga had like eighteen citations, bro. Eighteen. Eighteen. Eighteen like twenty five, bro. But like I had the I had my uh the the um secretary lady she uh she gave me a parking permit and then we like dispute everything they said it was fine so I didn't pay nothing. What? Nigga, that shit was that that fine was like five hundred dollars, bro. She was hella bread. <laughs> like, Yo, first of all, first of all, that okay. shit was so much bread. How the fuck you get out of that? Because it was like, cause I'm a grad assistant, so I already get a parking permit, but she just didn't give oh, me that. She didn't give it to that. You. Like she didn't send me the email for that that oh, um, okay. time. So I was like, damn, that shit just started adding up. I didn't know until like November. Oh, okay. But I don't. Do, do you remember when we used to go to Lake Hapat Kong, bro? In uh, oh yeah, that lake, yeah, that North Jersey yeah. lake. Oh, shit. Were you, you just, there that one you just time? Brought a, brought a, a core memory. A core memory, bro. Because I forgot we went to that. Those we are good days, bro. Lake, yeah. Um. Yeah, what, what what day? Were you there that day where I got a ticket for some bullshit, bro? Was I there that day? I don't know. I think I know. I think Chima was there. Chris was there. Was Collins there? I think so. Because if Collins was there, I was probably there. You might have. I was there with Chima too. I, I was dry. I was dry. I was no, dry I don't think that was was, was Carl and them there. Carl, like Carl Locker and them there. Damn, what the fuck? That's what I'm saying. There was mad what niggas did we there. We tell about that late. We told nigga that was like the summer after we graduated. So like that, we thought that was a hot spot, nigga. Yo, because we was playing, crazy. we was playing on um, beach volleyball. So we told uh, mad I don't niggas. Know if I was there. Okay, okay. So, I was, that was there when niggas was playing ball. Oh, that okay. That was the first time. Oh, okay. We went back another time. And we yeah, brought like Carl and them and Daryl. Hella niggas was there. Yeah, okay. bro. Let me tell you what happened, bro. We went over there, right? So this is. It's like, you know, it closed at like like 7 o'clock, 7, 8. So we're about to leave. And, you know, we're the last niggas. We're, it's like we're getting changed. So we're like one of the last niggas. And niggas are telling us, like, oh, you got to hurry up. We're like, all right, we're going. But like we're getting changed in the locker room. And then I know there was another family. There was at least like one more family that was with us. And we was one of the last cars. And I don't know what happened. I don't think I don't think we was leaving on time. I think we was just like like loitering in the parking lot. And I think niggas got mad. But we was leaving. Like it was like. Say it closed at 7, it was like 6.55. We got in the car and started driving at 6.55. <sighs> the nigga let... So it was... The the first family was first. Then it was like Carl, uh, Daryl, and then me. Right? Yeah. I was the last one in the, in the car. Like, we had, we had three cars. So they let the he let the family go. Nigga locked the gate. And no, we was no. like... He was like, yo, you good? Like, can we leave? <laughs> he was like, he was like, nah, bro. Y'all here after hours. I gotta give y'all a ticket. Oh, I said, nah. what? Yeah. I'm like, what you mean? It's 658. And he was like, guy or black it was a white guy, old white guy, bro. You yeah. know, nigga racist, you know, bro. You know what you're doing. Nigga racist. Was bro, racist. but you know what was crazy? He was like, he's like, yo, I need to get your IDs. I'm like, all right, bro, whatever. I gave him my ID. I'm like, all right, I gotta pay like a fifty dollar ticket. The nigga only gave me a ticket. Oh yeah. He left oh, he no, let no, Carl man. and Daryl go. Hey, man, I don't think he racist, bro. He just don't like mixed. It's, it's <laughs> mixed, bro. It's nigga, mixed. I'm the new gen- I'm the yeah, new breed. The new breed, but it's a specific bro. I don't know. He didn't like that you was black with, with Asian the, with eyes, bro. He was like, he didn't like my, my he, hair, he bro. He didn't like the hair, bro. He didn't like it, bro. He didn't, because he didn't he have that little, shit? Yeah, he was a little bit He was a little jealous? Bro. You Dang, know what I'm saying? I, That's I, what I happened, take that. bro. That's what happened, bro. I had to pay a $90 ticket. It wasn't even, it was even, it wasn't even parking. 90, that shit crazy. said trespassing oh, over trespassing hours. Trespassing? Yes. Trespassing is crazy, bro. Nigga, I had to bring my mom. We had to drive all the way to Rockaway County or whatever to go pay that shit. I'm like, yo, this is something. Because you we couldn't pay it on law? I don't know. I can't remember. We could have, but I think it was. A, I think that was a time where shit wasn't really online for real, and like Word. I feel like it was like a different type of ticket. And, and oh no, you know we went over there because we was gonna think about Dis- disputing it, yeah. but there was a long ass line, oh, and I was like, you know what? I'm not. I'm not trying to go in there and talk yeah, my case for no yeah, reason. Yeah. So I'm just like, you know, I just paid nine dollars. But that's when that was the first time I experienced racism, bro. Yeah. The nigga said, "Yeah, y'all here after hours." I'm like, bro, what do you mean? Like, I'm about we leave. We're, we're literally leaving. You just let the family. Walk past or drive past, bro. Fuck them kids, bro. In that car, bro. That shit. Oh my god, bro. Why can't Why can't we end racism, bro? Can we? Is that Is that possible? You think it's possible nah. to end racism? No. You know. I, you know why I think it's because niggas like Doctor Umar, bro. What's What's <laughs> like What's Doctor what, what did Doctor Umar do? Doctor Umar be bugging, bro. He do be bugging, but I think we can't end racism because there's too many. There's too many people in the world, bro, with different different ideas and opinions, bro. I feel like eventually niggas gonna like by 2050, most of the population gonna look like me. 
<laughs> so you think this is gonna be bad? Yeah, mixed it's gonna be more mad mix. This is what's gonna happen. It's gonna be mad mixed people, and then it's just gonna outnumber the whites and blacks, and niggas just gonna have to cave in. But yo, if you nah. love a white woman, if you love a white man, love a white woman, you love an Asian man, Asian woman, it's whatever at that point. That nigga, yo, that I nigga, Doctor Umar was tweaking on that nigga at Joe Budden Joe Budden podcast. Bro, you seen that shit? No, nah. bro, he was bugging on that. He was like, <laughs> cause I guess uh, I don't know what his name is. Is that light skinned dude? The one you, you ever seen Joe Budden podcast? The light skinned one. Yeah, like it's like light skinned one. It's like a it's Joe Budden, and then he has two two hosts. I think I seen yeah. yeah light skinned nigga with like a beard or a goatee. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was like, <laughs> Doctor Umar was like, he was like, have you ever have you ever fell in love with a black woman? He's like, yeah, of course. He's like, why haven't you found another one? He's like, cause. He's, he said, because I fell in love with a white woman. He said, why have you done that? <laughs> he said, why did you do that? He said, why didn't you fall in love with another black woman? And he just kept going back and forth, back and forth. He's like, he said, he said, you know how I many black people I put into jobs and shit? He's like, he said, no, but you end all that when you when you fell in love with a white woman. woman. That's crazy. I'm like, oh my gosh. You know, you know, you know what's, you know what's weird, bro? Well, what? I don't know, but I, I just don't understand the interracial, the interracial, um, Hate, bro. Oh, I, I think said, I think that I don't think interracial. I don't think interracial is a, the right term. Is it not interracial relationship? What's interracial? It isn't interracial. Inter- <clears throat> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, I'm thinking when you said interracial hate, I'm thinking you meant hating light skinned niggas. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about the interracial like relationship, couples, like couple, yeah, yeah, like yeah. hate, bro. It it doesn't make sense to me because like I don't know, man. With me, bro. I mean, sometimes I'd be like, damn, man, this beautiful ass black woman, bro. <laughs> hey, we, hey, we lost another one. But <laughs> but then I'd be like, nice. I like the I like I like a white dude that 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 that, that likes that has a taste like me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what like, I'm saying. I look at it that way, bro. I that's like what he I'm, like he's one of the brothers, my nigga. Well, not really, but he trying, like he trying, you he feel trying. me? And I and I fuck, I fuck with shit like that. That's but hey, bro, we need I don't more know, people niggas, like that. Niggas be hating, yo. I ain't gonna lie, niggas be hating. Like I be seeing a uh, a post of, I mean, there's posts of like you know interracial relationship uh, couples and shit like that. Yeah, when there's a it's a black man and a white girl, mm-hmm. bro. They hate. Oh my gosh, it's bad that the niggas get. It's so crazy. It's crazy. You know why though, right? Why? Yo, it's the black woman. They'd be like, we don't. Why would you love a white woman? Because when we're right here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> black. Yeah, of course, black. Yeah, black women are in that. But black men, they still they be on that shit too, bro. What they be hating? Uh, they be hating the, the the nigga that the nigga that's with a white woman. Oh like, wait, the black nigga that hate the black nigga a nigga that hates a black nigga that's with a white woman or 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 a white man with a black woman. Nah, yeah, the 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 black men like hate, hate the white on, dude. The, hate no, hate the black nigga. Oh, oh okay, okay, dude. okay, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they like at the end of the day, bro. It's none of people have preferences, bro. Yeah, people have a uh, different type of taste, bro. People have what whatever. Like I feel like nigga, you could be with who the fuck you want to be with. Exactly, it's a free country. It doesn't make it. It never made sense to me, bro. I I under. No, I don't understand. They gotta look at themselves and wonder why the nigga didn't want to get them. Don't blame her. Yeah, blame yourself. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. Like look what look at what problems you have. Like if you have issues, like if they want you, they will come for you. But if you got issues, they don't want that. Maybe this white woman don't got the issues, and he fits what he wants. That's that's exactly what I'm saying. Like 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 what? Yo, maybe that white woman is just. Like she has a great personality. She could cook. She could do this and third. You never know. And She's just great overall. At the end of the day, bro, she she's a woman that he likes. So what's the fucking problem with it? I just don't understand. Like I'm not gonna hate. Like what the fuck am I gonna hate for? Exactly. Like what is that gonna do for me? Like it, it might that make no sense. You think bro. it'd be different if it was like, <laughs> like it'd be different if it was like the the nigga that used to date that black girl. Now he she mad that she would what he would a white woman. You think that that could be a reason Say why she hate? Again? Like so say. Say it's like a black couple, right? They break up, and the dude ends up going out with a white woman right after the black girl. Now she hating on the white woman. 
Now, but that one, I feel like she has a reason to hate. No. I mean, no, there shouldn't be no reason to hate. Nah, that that honestly, would, would, like <laughs> niggas will hate on niggas. Like that that nigga will get hate if he, if he, oh, yeah. if, he if he went from a black woman. And and he dated a white woman, like he dated a white woman after, like it's yeah. like yo, why, why, yeah. why are you doing that? Like you like niggas, niggas, niggas gonna find niggas gonna find a way to talk about to, to hate on on anything. Honestly, you know that. You know how niggas be, bro. But you know, hey. Yeah, but so it's yeah, he definitely gonna get hate for that. All for I that. all I know is, like I said, 2050. That's gonna be the year where there's gonna be so many interracial kids. Why can't it be earlier though? That's it so might be earlier. Tw- it might be. I think some. I don't know. I feel like some shit gonna happen where it's gonna like halt some things because like they like, bro. My cousins. All, I I don't know if I told you. All my cousins in like uh Oregon and Portland. They all look like me, bro. Really. I only have. I maybe have. Like my mom's sister, like my cousin Brandon. He's full Filipino, and then my grandfather's side is mostly Filipino. But like on the West Coast, they look like me, bro. Like I never seen so many mixed kids in my life, bro. <laughs> This is the this is the craziest thing ever, bro. Like it's mixed black and white, and it makes Asian, black and black yeah. And Asian. I have one, I have one cousin. She's, I have a little cousin. She's like white, white, black, and no, she's white and Filipino. And then I have a, I have another cousin. He's, Fil, he's Filipino, white, and black. Damn. Like his, like his mom, her, my aunt's mom is Filipino and her dad's white, and then she married a black guy. Damn. Yeah, like them. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I can't see those kids. Cause I feel like they're gonna sh- outgrow me, outgrow bro. Outgrow you? Yeah, I can't. I'm I, right now. Like all my cousins. How old are they? When I see when I seen them, I was 15. So I was. Oh, it, it was a minute ago. They so go, go nigga, they they and they was probably like, oh my god. How old is Hollis right now? She's what 15? 15. Okay, so that means okay, so they're probably like 15, 16 right now. Okay. Damn, that's crazy. That's why I can't yeah, see that shit, good. bro. Yeah, I, like, go like I like. Have you seen like? Is any of your cousins like? Yo, out, bro, are they outgrowing you, bro? Bro, nah, I don't like that, bro. Uh, <laughs> Yo, we're two, bro. I don't know. I had these twins, bro, but they, bro. Ever since they was young, bro, they had big ass feet, bro. <laughs> we're two, bro. I'm not. I'm not even joking, bro. Really? My 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 like. I got twin twin nephews, bro. Bro. Them niggas ever since, so I knew they were gonna get a little bit taller. taller. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I knew they were gonna be a little bit tall. Them feet, they feet is biggest. What's biggest? But they wear their dad's shoes. They they was how like, do they like? They was like, yo. They was wearing their dad's shoes, bro. They're in high school now. They're probably like 14, 15 now, bro. Yeah. They was wearing their dad's shoes when they were like twelve, bro. Twelve. I'm I'm not even joking. How tall are they right now? You think? Nah, they probably like right now, bro. They. What are they? They like? probably five eleven, like your height, bro. Really? Wait, yeah. how? Why? Well, how? What grade are they in? Freshman? Yeah, freshman. Yeah. Dang, bro. They they and they was they was like that height, maybe. Yeah, they probably like five eleven, maybe six foot, man. Oh. I, I, probably, bro. And you know, you know, my my little uh, other nephews. Uh, it's crazy. You don't you don't think you old until you see your others fucking yeah yeah, yeah, yeah my nephews. nigga you start bro, see how go, big they get bro it's bad bro my my like my nephew my other nephews bro you know Monroe and David bro. yeah 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 nah Monroe and David like them niggas is is getting too damn old for me yo I knew I was old until bro because one day bro it was it was, well I seen him probably a couple weeks prior you feel yeah me? yeah yeah he looked the same. <laughs> Yo, and then I seen him on his like birthday. I think it was like his birthday, like celebration or something. Yeah, nigga just looked so different. Like just just puberty hit like in a span of like just, mustache beard. Not even mustache. Nah, nah. Well, not even beard. Nah, beard is crazy. But like his voice, oh be- like, yeah, got, it was yeah. getting deeper. Yeah, he got taller. Like his nose, like you could tell, like his nose was getting bigger yeah. to fit like his face, face his gold yeah, yeah, face, yeah. bro. He start, yeah, he is getting a mustache, but I'm like, yo, who is this nigga, bro? It, it's crazy how it's lo- bad, bro. Bro, puberty is a crazy thing, bro. Bro, nah, because I swear to you, bro, a week's fire, bro. It nigga look the same, bro. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I remember, and then I look at this nigga, and I'm like, wait, 
Nah, in no way, bro. I feel like, yo, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. I feel like my puberty, I didn't even really do much, bro. Nigga, look at me. You did something. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't But, like, I, I feel like my voice didn't really get deep. <laughs> yo, I, <laughs> I swear, when I was a kid, bro, I used to wait for that girl spurt. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Your voice didn't do nothing. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like yours was different. Like you lost weight. Yeah, yeah. You uh you 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 got your beard. Yeah. Uh what what else? <laughs> I know where this go, that's why I'm laughing. <laughs> Nigga Prince has a change since he was freshman in high school. He just got bigger. He just he like Yeah, I just got like like bigger, like like No wait, actually no, bro. Cause there's a video of you when we was at UCC. I don't know what the what it was, bro. What you look like a ghost, my nigga. Yo, name, bro. I don't know what it was, bro. That maybe shit it was fucking maybe crazy. Maybe it was the product that I was using, bro. Nigga, I don't know, what bro. the fuck were you using? I don't know. <laughs> nigga bro. look like Michael Jackson. Yo, I I don't know why niggas didn't tell me nothing though. <laughs> bro, Fritz I don't know why niggas didn't tell me nothing, bro. Great. I was like, bro, I'm looking. I'm like, yo, this. Is not, I thought it was like you uh, don't remember me looking like that. No, bro. Like I feel like you look like you was sick. You know what's crazy, bro? <laughs> you look like the you know what's crazy? Like, nobody remembers me looking like that. Bro. I don't remember. Like, like, I thought it was, like, a glare from the sun. Like, maybe the, from the blinds. But, like, it looked, it wasn't, like, that early in the day. It was, like, 4 o'clock. So, it shouldn't be that bright. Like, this nigga, like, he really looked, like, like pale. Yeah, my my girl said she don't even remember me looking like that. So, I don't know. I don't know, but. Well, UJ said that I did look lighter back in the day. But, I don't know. I, I don't think know, bro. I that I was using, bro. That shit was crazy, bro. This year's just passing, bro. We are in 2024, bro. Yeah. Think about that shit. Sound, that's the future for real, bro. It is. It is the future. You gotta think about it. It, it really is the future, and the, <laughs> like, I be thinking about it as in like, I'll say like every. I'll think about the years. Like, say if it was 2023, I look back like five years ago, see like what we like what like niggas have done, and like think about five years ago, five years from now from today was 2019 that was a great year bro that was a great year that was a great year bro i love 2019 that was i bro. love 2019 i like 2020 i like yo i i, I it's crazy I, I like 2018 too 2018 that's what i'm saying cool. 2019 was like the peak of everything and then yeah, 2019 just was crashed a down good year it was a good year yeah bro was a good look, year. We, Tw well, 2020 was a bad year but for uh it's crazy 2020 was a bad year but it was like, you know, niggas was, you know, it was a fun year. Like, yeah. Yeah, you know, like niggas got to stay inside, then get, you know, obviously so many lives was lost around that time, bro. Yeah. So praise to all that. But for a lot of, a lot of other people, like, like people was having fun. That was the peak of gaming. Yeah, yeah, bro. The That's peak, when streaming started. Yeah, streaming, like the peak of just, I don't know, niggas was just. It wasn't going to school, niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, they like uh, it was online, so like it was just a peak of people's a lot of a lot of people's experiences. Like a lot of people have one of their lowest points of their lives 2020. In 2020. Yeah, yeah, but a lot, a lot of, of people peak. got their highs. Like bro, Aiden, AMP. That's when AMP started. Yeah, 2020, bro. Aiden, all them niggas, bro. Like, like all them niggas. That's crazy, bro. So. And like think about 2020 it. 2020 is mixed emotions. And think about it, right? So five years ago is 2019. Just think about how quick that shit went. Like 2019 till now. That's what I'm saying. And now bro. five years from now is going to be 2029, bro. Nigga, that's real future, like, bro. That's wow. That's so. It's about to be 2030. It's gonna be 20. We're gonna be 30, Fritz. Stop. We're uh, gonna be fucking 30, fuck, bro. Bro, stop. We're gonna be 30, bro. Yo, you stop printing out our age, bro. What you mean, nigga's not gonna do math? You just told him, bro. I don't know how old I am for real, but I, I was born on a leap year, cuz. Nah, bro. This nigga's crazy, bro. Yo, dude, don't put my age out there, bro. Nigga, eventually, by I that time, I our age is already gonna be on the internet. Bro, but I don't wanna. We're gonna be on seat. What, what, what's that? Uh, celebrity web. Celebrity. Web we're, they're gonna know birthdays. all our information. They're gonna know your birthday. They're gonna know where, all that shit. I don't wanna, bro. I don't wanna be 30. Straight like, straight like, that. like a kid. I don't want to be thirty. What bro. are you gonna do about it? I, I don't. I know. think they said thirty is great years. Nah, thirty is peak years, bro. There is, bro. I could feel my body just hurting. Oh no, not physically. <laughs> like physically, that's why, yo. That's why you gotta, you gotta stretch, drink water, 
You just gotta prepare for that shit, bro. Yo, bro, I heard, bro, just. Yep. First of all, I already know my body ain't what it used to be, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like right now, bro. I got back problems, bro. I got knees. Is it problems. lower back or upper back? It's lower back. Now nah, my upper back hurt, bro. My lower back. I wish. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like it should be. You should be happy as your elbow back, bro. Why? Cause the lower back, bro, <laughs> hurts, bro. Like that. Shit, bro, I, I don't know. I never felt really upper back pain. Bro, that shit hurt. The lower back, yo. Especially, nah, cause it's not even right here, bro. Oh, nigga, it's not just your back. It's your neck too. Maybe I think it's the oh, way yeah, I sit true. though. That is bad. It's the way I sit. Cause like when I edit, I go like, like I edit like this. Yeah, see, that's your fault. So it is my fault. Yeah, but like I try, I I learned stretches and shit. So yeah, I'm, I learned I'm working. Stretches. I'm working on it, bro. I got I got. You got to prepare. You got to prepare your body and mind for when you're thirty, bro. I'm scared. What you scared about? I'm scared just just to just say you're thirty. Just to say that I'm thirty. I don't like it. Hey, man. Even though thirty's not old. I feel like we and, you... th- and some of the thirty year olds like look look great. That's what, you know I'm, what saying. I'm saying. I feel like we think our scared. I feel like we think our lives is over at 30. <laughs> nah, I feel like Niggas that's what honestly, that's not well, depending on who you are, your life kind of be like starts really beginning at 30. At like 30, bro. I'm saying really like, do. Like like depending you know who, mid you do. Yeah, been what you do like mid 20s mid 20s to 30s. Mm-hmm. Your life is really like that like you're really like doing like, doing some you shit, know you know what I'm saying? If you if you're not doing nothing, then that's when you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and be like, "Is exactly. this what I want to be? With? Is this what I want to do?" With my life? Exactly. So, so that's what's also scary to some people Ooh. because it's like, dang, and 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 how how time has flown. It's like, dang, what the fuck did I just do with my life? And I'm already thirty. That sucks. So now you gotta start panicking. That's when you start. Panicking. That's when niggas start panicking. Like, damn. If you don't have a steady, all right. I I don't know how niggas be, so I ain't gonna say. But I feel like by 30, you should have most of your life together. Not all. Like, I'll say 75%. You should have your steady, you should have a steady income. Yeah. You should have mental stability. Like, your mind, you should have, I'll say you should, I want to say you should be moved out of your crib, but you should be either moved out of your crib or, or on the verge yeah. of moving out of your crib. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to, I mean, you could have a girl. Or and have a kid and have a family. Because, like, think about it. If you have a kid at 35, my nigga, you're going to be 70 years old pick it, going to your son graduation. Or you're huh? going to be... Oh, that's bad math. Huh? <laughs> this nigga just multiplied. He did not add. <laughs> this nigga multiplied. He's going to be 50-something <laughs> at your son graduation. Yeah. What Like, what do you think is a good age to have kids? I say, like... I think I kind of already we passed it. <laughs> yeah, like if you want to be a young mother to yeah. have kids, bro, I feel like I already done passed. Like, yeah, like I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I'm approaching. Actually, if I need it, yeah. If, if I if I if I were to like say, I feel like I would have to have it like now. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'd have to have it. I have a kid now. I, no, no. <laughs> No, I want to no. do things with like me and Jay want to do like you know travel first and then I will I will have a kid eventually. Freaking my da- one of my dad's coworkers that I know like since I was a kid like my aunt she was like yeah when when are you guys gonna be grandparents I'm like the fuck what I look like nah they, they what you mean it. they tweak it this ain't because I thing. feel like I feel like they were, you know there was a generation where they were, I guess they were popping out kids early, early. nigga at our age they that, was they was full grown adults yeah but I ain't that ain't that, that ain't this bro ain't we're babies. This, bro. I don't know, bro. I I don't know, bro. I still watch because, cartoons and eat candy, bro. Because the, because <laughs> right here, bro. I mean, okay. <laughs> think about it, bro. Yeah. What age do you think? Twenty-seven in two years, two three years. Twenty-seven, twenty-eight. That would be fine. Okay, so you're gonna be like cool thirty-six. I'm a, I got. That's what I'm saying. It's been dwindling because like I want to get married first. Such a bitch. Bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Not a bitch, but <laughs> that's your beliefs. But why do you like you like that's what you like yeah. really want to do? Yeah, get married first, and then we got a kid. I mean, I don't really care to be honest. You don't care? Like if it happens, it happens. Yeah. I feel like if a kid comes first, then like I'ma deal with it. Yeah. But like niggas said deal with it. Yeah, I'ma deal with it. 
<laughs> Yo, if my kids see this, bro, I, I love you, bro. No, I know I, you gotta think about it. our I, kids gonna be watching. Yeah, this shit. I'm not. I'm not trying to be like rude or nothing. Not, we but love like, you, bro. But like, or, I don't or know. Ma'am. Cool, like yeah, cool. Twenty. Twenty seven. Twenty. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's a. That's about to be in two years. Yes. Nah. It's too early, bro. <laughs> too early, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, that's what I'm saying. It, it's never planned, bro. Shit it just happens when it is, bro. bro. I wish I was 21, bro. Hey, man. Back in my 21 days, bro. I know. We so old, bro. We too old, bro. 24 is wild. 24 is a little wild, bro. It's crazy. That's a, nigga. That's bad. Hey, man. I don't like it, bro. I feel like you... Ah, oh, man. We'll just gonna go day by day, bro. It's God timing, bro. God's timing. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> if you if you thirty five right now watching us, your time is coming. Keep grinding, fella. But, yeah, what? Thirty five. If you thirty five, but if you trying to be a YouTuber and doing all that shit, your your chances of making it, you, you're wilding. Yeah. I don't I don't want to see you at the mall asking people questions. No. Nah, thirty five doing that is crazy. It's a wild, do it's that. a wild world. It's don't a wild world. Don't do that. You going on Omegle? Is, I, I couldn't even. I, I wouldn't even be surprised if I seen them mm-hmm. like that though. You going on them smash your past videos at thirty five and you got a kid? Crazy work. No, that's not where you need to be. Don't do that. To you yourself. can you can find there's bet it, money. It's so easy to make money. You can find other things. You just don't want to do it. Yeah, don't real do shit, bro. Don't do that, bro. But since it's two thousand twenty four, I want to talk about predictions that you think is gonna happen this year. If it, whether it's with sports, bro, my nose running. Oh, you need tissue. Yeah. Uh, Lib, you got uh, you can get tissues from the uh, I think it's like downstairs. Thanks, Lib. Thank you, Libby. <laughs> yes, Libby. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, what are your predictions of the year? What do you think is gonna happen? Do you have anything that you think is gonna happen with sports life? Damn. Like a uh, NBA champion. All right, so. Damn, can I, oh, my can fault. I speak? Oh, my fault. Damn. Please. Oh, shit. All right, bro. Please. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Woo. <laughs> this year for the NBA Finals, bro, there's Fritz predictions, bro. <laughs> um, um, Who's going to win it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think the Celtics is going to win the Finals this year. Against who? It's going to be against... The Nuggets. Oh, Rem- no, that's not real. They played the Warriors. Okay, okay, okay. It's going to be against the Nuggets. You think anything going to happen in the world, bro? Because this, this is the election year. We got to vote for president. We old enough. We got we can, we got to vote for <laughs> We are old enough to vote now. The candidates are good. Yeah, I know. I don't We're bird yet. Who the, that. <laughs> <laughs> who, the fuck is, who the fuck is running, bro? Yeah, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck going on, bro. All I know, I know is I Trump. No the somebody said. Oh the wait, then then uh, one of the um states, I think uh, like they they like just decided to not, I guess, not damn, vote, not for vote for Trump at all. Oh shit! Is it New Jersey? Nah. Damn. I think it's some in the West. Mm, hopefully it's California because that's the big state we need. Nah, it's not Cali. Damn. Like, think about it, bro. We really, like, we really, like, adults. Like, we got to look at, like, nah, this is why I be thinking the co- this country is, like, a fucking joke, bro. Because niggas don't teach us about politics, and, like, we just we just we vote just niggas based vote. on who we like yeah, the most. Yeah, bro. We don't know what the lie. fuck like, about to happen, bro. This I nigga. Remember, I remember where Bernie was voting, bro. I was just going with the crowd, bro. That's what I'm saying, with the bro. Young niggas, bro. <laughs> you just vote. Yeah, like, I was just like, bro, hey, yeah, hey, Bernie, nigga, yeah. This nigga Biden dude didn't do shit, bro. I don't even know what the fuck that nigga did. I ain't gonna All I know, bro, he, bro, this has just been so, this is, it's just like, been. I, I, I ain't even heard a speech from cuz. That nigga been saying so many times, like, yeah, we're gonna pay off student loans. And then he just retracts it back every, like, two weeks. Like, yeah, yeah never mind, we're not gonna do it. We're gonna go pay for the war. Bro. Nigga, I don't, I mean, I don't, like, I don't I heard there was a war coming. You say you think there's a war coming? I heard there was a war coming. Bro, I don't know what the fuck is coming. I, like, if if that happens, bro, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be in it. You hey, can send me to jail. I'm not fighting for niggas that ain't fight for me. Yeah, get me away from that. Get me away from that shit. I but don't know that about that. I, want, I was talking about predictions because... I, I was looking the other day, because I like to, like, when the year changes, I like to look at, like, The Simpsons, 
to see if they predict if they predict something of like last year. Yeah. And I guess I think they predicted some things like with the <clears throat> with the uh the submarine. They predicted the submarine Did shit. They? Yeah. There was a there was a vi- there was a episode where Homer was in a submarine and got stuck. Oh wow. So there was a there was a sum the submarine, they predicted the fires in Hawaii. They predicted that shit. And then uh they predicted something else. But you want to know what they predicted for this year, bro? What the Simpsons predicted for 2024? Yeah. So, the Simpsons predicted that there's going to be, like, the crisis in the world, like, warfare and things are just going to raise, like, higher between, like, us, China, and Russia. Because I think there was an episode in 1998 where I think China and Russia and the Simpsons were, like, trying to fight America and things of that nature. And it wasn't, like, it wasn't, like, like... Like World War Two, it was like a Cold War. Like they was like saying they're gonna fight, they're gonna send nukes, but they was just like kidding. Like you know, they was just like yeah, yeah. pump finger niggas. But then they also, the Simpsons also predicted that our the leader of the world, like our of our like country, is gonna die this year because there was, the, president. The, the president. They said they predicted the president's gonna die, and that the vice president is gonna take his place for now until the election because they also predicted that Trump is gonna run in two thousand twenty four, oh. and then. But it's crazy because they didn't say who the president was, but uh, you know Lisa, like Lisa Simpson, like the sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She ran. She was the she was the one that was in charge of the country. But the way she was dressed was dressed just like Camilla Harris, Harris, bro. Oh, shit. Like she had the she had pearls, like the whole suit, like the hair. She looked just like Camilla Harris, and she was talking about how the last president that 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 was um that died before her was like like messed up the whole country with like all the administrative administrative things and like the money just like how Biden did I guess Wait, you said you said this this was when 1998 this when the, the episode Damn. came out So that's what they, they were talking about that and then they was talking about there was also another episode where um I think home they was talking about robots are going to start taking not taking over the world but they're going to start like having jobs in our society Mm-hmm. Like uh, I think Homer was like in a factory working at a, ha- a factory, and they somebody they took it like a robot took his job, and like you see in Japan now that the like they're starting to have like robot waiters. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, they got robot waiters and like robot bus people. Shit, in warehouses, there's a lot of warehouses, bro. They got like robots, uh, like helping, not helping necessarily, but what uh, they do, like they, they just they just. Like they they like for example like Amazon Amazon like where um warehouses yeah like it's not robots mm-hmm. but it's like machinery that that uh scans like the shit for you and oh uh, really like yeah and takes the takes the like packages to where like it needs to be oh nah see that's that's what I'm saying bro yeah and then you see AI coming up AI is a AI is probably gonna boom this year bro. Yeah. Like I feel like last oh, year, yeah. last year was yeah. like a test year. This was this was yeah AI, like was it, it's it's in in it's in uh, the beginning it's phase, in introduction phase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit better take off, my nigga. So off. just imagine, bro. Like niggas gonna start paying for like like AI to do their work to do their work. That's what I'm like, saying. Like you know, a lot of this shit is free, and mm-hmm. you know you could get there. Yeah. Niggas gonna start like paying for this shit, bro. I'm no saying, cap. bro. No so cap. now that was it was that, and then there was another episode for The Simpsons. It was like in season 14 where I think Homer was, um, he he got a job at like the broadcast place, like a broadcast TV network, mm-hmm. and they was broadcasting the Super Bowl. And then during the Super Bowl, like a hacker hacked into the system, and then the Chinese like like president came online and was saying like you know. Like you've been lied to this whole time. Like you guys think you guys are at the top of the world, but we're the real ones who are at the top of the world. Like all your sports teams that you watch, all the people, the music and the media that you watch, we own everything. And they were saying like some crazy shit. I guess like that's like started a war in that episode and niggas like was going to war with China. And you know, now niggas think we're going to go to war with China. And like people, I'd be like, I'd be seeing it on TikTok. I'd be reading the comments and people think that like the Simpsons aren't really predicting the future, but like, this was all planned out, and The Simpsons is just a way to sh- tell people ahead of time. Yeah, just imagine, bro. Like it's just like, uh, like, uh, of course, like. But this... how would they know? Maybe they got somebody like. What? And like, the... how would they know? Like, like to like if it was planned out. Yeah. How would they know? Maybe you feel the, me? maybe in a way they just think it's like. And do you think like they planned something that was from nineteen ninety eight? To 2024? You got you got to think about it, bro. I feel like a lot of things that we have now 
have been around longer than we know about. Like, mm. I heard, like, you know how we clone animals? Yeah. Like, I think maybe that came out in, like, what, 2020 or, like, not 2020, like, 2010 or whatever. Like, niggas start cloning animals to, like, make more food or whatever. Yeah. Bro, I heard niggas have been cloning since, like, the four, like the 60s. Really? But they just never said nothing. Like, they, like it's like those are, like, the beginning stages of it. Yeah. So, like, niggas, like, all this shit now, like, this AI technology, all these robots, they, we've been had this. But, like, this is, like, the end stages now. Mm. And, like, before, like, maybe, like, 40, 50 years ago, that was the beginning stage. And they didn't want to freaking, like, um... Yeah, bring it out now like even like even tesla bro you heard you seen the tesla robots bro elon musk created a, a tesla robot that like walks and talks and all that stuff really and it, it it attacked a worker oh word yeah it attacked somebody like it didn't like hurt it didn't kill i don't know it didn't kill him or nothing but like it, it, just, it, it just, like attacked him like hit him or some shit like oh, they got injured oh, shit. but i'm like yo you got like niggas gotta start playing with stop playing with these shits bro because eventually like I feel like we think we're like, of course we're we're one of the we're the smartest species on the world. Yeah. Don't mean we can't create something smarter, smarter than us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's it's really crazy how shit is just like evolving too much out of our hands, bro. Yeah, I don't yeah, want to. Yeah. I don't want that robot. Bring me aliens before the robot apocalypse, my nigga. But a lot of a lot of shit, a lot of shit like that was uh, fucking uh, predicted, bro. That niggas would. What? Like robots would would fucking take over the world type shit. Bro. Yeah, I f- that's what I'm saying. That's why I feel like niggas. I feel like when they say plan, I feel like they do it like this, right? So say I have an idea for an invention, like, but it's like <laughs> it's something so big that if I put it into society now, niggas gonna freak niggas out. Gonna freak out yeah. So what they do is they keep it under wraps, yeah, and then they they'll put shit in the media of like the idea of it, yeah, yeah and then yeah. over time, niggas is gonna niggas get gonna be okay desensitized it. to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So now when when now when I'm ready to bring it out, niggas gonna be like, oh, oh look, the shit, first yeah, one yeah, that we yeah, watched. Yeah. Exactly. So it I feel like that's sense. but like these niggas be doing it too, like too specific. Like the events be too specific. But I also think it's because the Simpsons have so many episodes that if shit like niggas could just make whatever like assumptions like, oh, this they predicted this, but like it's just so broad mm-hmm. that it can mean anything. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I don't think some things are okay. Like like um Donald Trump being president or whatever, I feel like Okay, that's a weird coincidence, but I feel like that's like a, you know, oh, nah, that is kind of weird. That bro. is crazy. That is weird. Like, out of like, everybody, out of everybody, Donald Trump? Exactly. That's oh. crazy. Niggas <laughs> that gotta start, niggas gotta start rewatching The Simpsons, bro. Yeah. And then, yo, I seen another thing that came up uh, of the new year, right? So, there's a whole Japanese, so there's a whole, I think like in July, I don't know if you ever seen this, there was like these big ass, like eel looking fishes that were coming up from the sea in Japan. Mm-hmm. And like they was they was um beaching themselves like going to the shore nobody knew why but like according to Japanese like mythology and folklore like they're called oarfish and they they live on the bottom of the ocean and they only come up whenever an earthquake or something uh, something bad's gonna happen as like a bad luck thing like the apocalypse or whatever and people was just looking at it, they was thinking like something bad's gonna happen because they see them come up so like ah oh, damn uh, some shit's about to happen bro the first day of the year Japan had an earthquake and a tsunami. Oh no! Nah. So I'm like, nah. If that shit is the reason nah. why, because it's not. That's some weird ass nah. shit. That's od, bro. Nah. I'm saying, bro. Nah. That Japanese shit out, like we, like the shit in America, we be having a lot of mythology, folklore. Ah, the Japanese shit, they, them shit, they be talking about, it'd be low key true, it'd be bro. Low key, low key, low key, bro. That's scary, my nigga. Low they key. literally, like, literally, first day of the year had an earthquake, a tsunami, tsunami, and an earthquake. Nah. And they everybody's thinking it's because of them oarfish, bro. Because they never come up. Like you don't see them. They said they go in the depths of like a thousand meters or whatever. On below the below the um on the bottom of the ocean. And they only come up if there's an earthquake coming up. And then niggas came up and they was like, Oh shit. Oh earthquake coming. Niggas was just preparing and I guess it just happened this year, bro. Fuck, yeah. That's so bad, bro. That's, crazy. That's why we gotta start believing the Japanese people, bro. I feel like the Japanese people are the Japanese people are one of the most like one creative people in the world, and like, I'll say, I wouldn't say superstitious because I feel like all the shit that they talk about is low key like real. Not everything, but I some mean things. not everything, but yeah, I mean I, at the end of the day, bro, nigga, they're super. They're all they're superstitious for a reason, bro. That that shit they've been going on for years, so they they must have like. They must have like some something to happen, bro. Exactly. For for them to continue 
this super shit, uh, superstitious uh, like tradition, bro. Like they, there has to be something. Bro. That's some scary ass shit, my nigga. Yeah, nah. Don't those orphan shit. Nah, that's what And they're is. not little fish. Like they're like they're pretty big. big. Like you, like uh, some. There was like a group of people holding them, and it was like maybe like eight people held up. One. Eight people. Yeah, like oh no, like six to eight people. Like holding up like this. Nah. Same, bro. That's if if they say something else about the end of the world, the Japanese people, I'm gonna be. Scared. I believe it. I'm believing it, bro. I believe it. I'm believing it, bro. They was talking. No, there was other shit they used to talk about. There was a there was a whole thing about like a a, a giant rock that they had in Japan that. It was like supposed to be like a fucking. It was supposed to. It was like holding like a demon or whatever. And I guess like they said, if you open it up, it like um the demon's gonna get let out and like the apocalypse is gonna come. Nigga, one day they went over there. The shit was broken open. You did that? I swear to God, bro. Like they said, like there's like a whole. It's like a whole. I forgot what it's called. It's called fucking um. Like why? It's called the killing that? stone, bro. And it's like so like you can't touch it. Like nobody could go near. Nobody could touch it. And it's like. It's like a big rock, and then there's like a they put like a little like brace around it, like a little it looked like a necklace, but mm-hmm. I guess that's like a spiritual thing. Yeah. And they got they like blockade it off, and the, but like you can go see it, but they say like, I think there was like a demon or whatever like back in like ancient times that used to disguise itself as like a woman and kill like the men, and it tried to kill the emperor of Japan at one time, so they had to put it in this rock, and there's a sign and everything that says like don't do not don't touch this rock, and I, I think it was like either this like last year. Like the rock was split open, like like into two, what? and niggas think like they let go of the spirit, and that's why all this bad shit is happening to the world, bro. Nah, I don't know, bro. Shit like that be scaring the hell out of me, bro. And like, bro, I believe I believe in like shit like that too, bro. Me too, bro. You know me, too. I'm superstitious as hell, bro. Yeah, bro. You know how I be, bro. I don't know, nah, nah, bro. I, do. I don't like none of that shit, bro. I'm too like I'm od superstitious, bro. I was telling Jay the other day, bro. Like I don't like I don't like sitting in wheelchairs. Or using like, crutches. Yeah, wait, why? Because my dad used to tell me when I was a kid, he'd be like, like you know, like them little uh, shopping carts in the mall, like in the yeah, uh, yeah. in like Target and shit, yeah. that the, the motorized ones. I used yeah. to want to ride ride one of them. Yeah, me too. My dad was like, man, he's like, oh, you can go ride it, but like, you're gonna end up like that if you keep riding one of those. I was like, I used to get scared, but like he's going like I'm gonna end up in a wheelchair if I use a wheelchair. Oh, for real? I but never know. I didn't like believe that. that until like I, I always believed it, but then like I'd be seeing shit happen. Like I remember I was I was working at camp. And a kid got hurt. Like he he came back in them crutches, right? So he was he came back. I think he broke his foot, whatever. But he still came into camp, like because you know it's still like camp. Like he has his friends here, and he had crutches. And one of the kids was using the crutches one time. And I was like, "Oh, bro, don't use the crutches, but that's bad luck. Like you're gonna get hurt." He's like, "Man, Coach Dad, it's all right." That that afternoon he played a game. Nigga rolled his ankle. Came in next day, rap, foot wrapped up and shit, swollen as fuck. I'm like, I told you. Oh shit! I'm like no, dude. like nah, bro. Like JB, JB, look at me, man. You just scary. Like she because she says she be she used to use her mom because her mom like I think tore ACL. Yeah, and she used to use crutches. She's like, yeah, I use my, my used to use my mom cr- AC um uh, crutches. I'm like, she be complaining her knee hurt. I'm like, Jay, you about to like? Jay never been in crutches. I could have sworn I seen her. <sighs> what she? No, nah, I don't think she was in crutches. She no, nah, she ain't never been never? in crutches. Mm-mm. Jay, Jay, the only injury Jay really had was like her shoulder. I think she like tore a rotator cover some shit. Oh, for like real? her shoulder just fucked up. But everything else is nothing crazy. Oh, that's that's what, I, don't, I don't like that shit. Nah, I'm cool, bro. Never. I, like, will not sit in a wheelchair. I'm not gonna use no crutches unless I need them. Even when I used to, when I rolled my ankle, I had to use crutches. I didn't even like using them shits. Mm. I used to feel uncomfortable. I was like, yeah, nah, I didn't like it. I never, I never, I never, I never like broken a bone or nothing, bro. I'm it, like. What did it feel like? You you broke a bone before? I never broke a bone, but I have like like sprained stuff. Oh. Uh. It just so like yo, nah, I remember I remember I was playing ba- when I was playing basketball, it was junior year of high school. We played Westfield, right? Yeah. And it was it was at Union and I took a charge on some kid and I got the charge. I'm walking back and I hear somebody screaming and everybody's going like, Oh, I'm like, the hell? I turn around. The kid the kid that I took a charge on Nigga, leg snap, bro. Because he landed on me wrong and, like, his leg got caught under somebody. Leg snap. Had to get an ambulance, bro. Oh, shit. When I went to go play in Westfield, bro, I li- I remember I went up for a layup. I, I stepped on somebody's foot. The side of my ankle touched the floor. I thought my ankle broke, bro. Damn. I'm like, nah. I was I, like, I didn't feel the field pain. Nah, it hurt like shit, bro. For real? But, like, I, really, cause I thought my ankle was, like, hanging off. I'm like, damn. My shit done. <laughs> I was like, my dad came over. I remember my dad came over. I remember Gio was right next to me after. 
And my dad was like, "You, I was like, you good? I was like, I don't know. Is my ankle good? He's like, he's like, move it. He's like, I can move it a little bit. He's like, I was fine. But I remember niggas was laughing at me. Oh, yeah, Niggas at Westfield in the stands laughing at me. I'm like, damn. Oh, what? Why are they laughing for? I don't know. I'm like, what the fuck? Was that, was I like overreacting or some damn. shit? That shit hurt like shit. <laughs> like, yeah. I remember, I like, I, bro, I used to roll my, I rolled my ankle. I used to, yo, I used to yeah, not I used, like. I used to roll my ankle a lot too. Like, but it never, I never, like, it never did nothing. You know what it is though. I feel like I like there be times I will roll it like while I'm like, like while we're playing or if I'm playing like pickup or something, yeah. and I'm cool. Like it's yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I roll it a little bit and then I just go like this, like stretch it out a little bit and tie my shoe yeah, up tighter yeah, and I'm yeah, fine. Yeah. But there's but there's certain ones where like 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 yeah like you know you have a ball like right here on the side yeah, of your ankle yeah, yeah, yeah. that should touch the floor. You're done, bro. Like I remember. Yeah, I never had. I don't bro. think I've ever had that touch the floor, bro. I, I'm, I'm glad I never Yo, had that touch the floor. But I remember I, I I rolled my like, and it's just like it's just like a pain. Like you can't walk. Like, when, every time you step, it just like it just shoots up your leg, For and like your 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 ankle gets swollen and shit. Damn. Yeah, I like when your ankle swollen, you really can't you can't like touch it. Like I I never it hasn't been. I feel like I have like like that, thank God like I have like good like bones and good like muscles because yeah. it doesn't it's not really too bad like i've seen like a lot of the volleyball players like roll their ankle a lot because they jump and land on people mm-hmm. bro their ankles be like purple Ooh. and different colors i'm like oh, nah. i'm like what the it look like you dropped like a fucking like a weight on his like foot a weight like a bowl, yeah. bowling ball like bro. my shit never got that bad though like my shit would get swollen but like the swell, swelling would go down like a day mm-hmm. and then the, it would just be stiff and then I'll just have to like get back to like like learning how to like like stop and go and shit like that. Yeah. But like I never really I remember oh my god I had a, I got a concussion. I, I don't think I had a concussion, but it felt like a concussion. <laughs> my yeah. nigga, I, I, we had a AAU tournament. We was playing gauchos, and gauchos is like like you know in AAU there's like the there's like there's there's AAU teams like local AAU teams like what I played on, yeah. and then there's the sponsored niggas that play on like the Nike EYBL nah, them nah, shit. shit. So yeah. gauchos was like. They're, they weren't in Nike EYBL, but they was like the next, the tier right below that. Yeah. So we was playing them in the championship game. I remember, so I took a charge on this one nigga, and he ran full speed, like right into my chin. And I'm like, I get up, I'm like, all right, you know, I'm cool, but I feel a little, like, a little loopy. Mm-hmm. So now I'm going on fast break. I'm going for a layup. This nigga, LeBron James, punched my shit. Like, I mean, like, glasses my shit off the backboard. I go up, I'm like, damn. I land on the floor. The nigga lands on top of me, and I hit my head on the ground. I'm like, oh, yeah, nah, I'm done. I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm, I'm cool. I, I, I get my shit punched. And like, yo, I, I remember I went to I went to the yeah. train. And I'm like, yo, like I, like, I feel like I just felt like, like, because there's different stages of, like, a concussion. Like, the worst, like, I think the worst stage is, like, when, like, you can't be in, like, in front of lights. Like, it hurts yeah, your yeah, head, yeah, yeah. and you feel, like, nauseous. I didn't feel that. I felt like, like, you just feel, like, weird. Like, you feel, like, a little, like, not dizzy, but just, like, like you, you like you ever, you ever been in a pool too long, yeah. and like you just feel like you're still in the pool because like the water like okay. swaying. Yeah. I feel like that. Like I just feel like 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 my body just moving. moving. And yeah. I remember, <laughs> I remember I came home the next day, like I I, came, I I went to sleep, and I didn't even realize I fell asleep. And you're not supposed to go to sleep. Like you're not supposed to like after a concussion. I, I don't think I had. A, I feel like I had like a mild concussion. Yeah, but when you do have a concussion, you're not you're, you're not you're not supposed to. I, how do I say it? It's like you, you you could sleep, but like you have to be like watched, because if it's a bad concussion, like it could be really bad. Like oh, you like man. you know you might like I don't know if you can go into a coma or anything, but I think you could just like start like having like maybe like see I don't know. It's like there's so, so you got to keep your brain like like active, active or some shit. Yeah, yeah. And okay, it's like okay. but like some niggas was I remember yo I remember we had a nigga in the, in a uh, at Rutgers, bro. This nigga his name was Sebastian, bro. I love Sebastian. That nigga was a fucking nigga was dumb as hell. Nigga got high, right? He was smoking weed. He li- he lives in the dorms, and like you remember, you remember when we was doing the scary shit? We pulled up a Tyrone dorm. Yeah. He lived in that dorm. That dorm me me and uh, Jason then went into. Uh huh. And on the fifteenth floor, nigga got fried. Nigga was cooking out of his mind. He went to go get something to eat. As a man, like on the fifteenth floor, I wouldn't want to take the stairs. No. I would take the I'll elevator. Then nigga yeah. decided to take the stairs and fell, and hit his head. Got a concussion. He was out for like a month. He took, was it the first stair? Bro, it was like he took a couple steps and slipped and hit the God back of his head. Damn. Nigga was out for a good minute. And it's like you could, like, it's weird. Like, concussions is weird because, like, you never know when you're good. It's like, it's not like an ankle. Like, when the swelling goes down, you can play. Like, when you're in, when you have a concussion, you can't really do much. Yeah. So I remember, like, niggas was telling him, 
Like my my coach is an asshole. Like, he used to be like he used to be like Sebastian, bro. Like you look perfectly fine to me. Oh my god! Like what bro. you doing, bro? Like you not doing that's shit. That's not good, bro. Yeah, that's not good. Like he's a, he's a gel off niggas, and he just like this nigga. Like we don't know what he's doing. Like maybe he might be faking it. I don't know. Like you can yeah. fake a concussion. Like he might be jealous. Like, he might be lying. Like I don't, like we don't know. It's his body, so yeah. like we can't say like he's faking. But niggas used to do that. But yeah, I rem- but a nigga with a concussion, bro. You not gonna see him. He not. Yeah. Like he not gonna look like I know he's not gonna look like he might just <laughs> like, look like he gonna, look, like, he gonna look normal. He's gonna look regular, like he, that's what I'm so saying. Like you, you have to like take tests. You gotta like. take yeah, you got to and you gotta take the test mm-hmm. take a test and like take a word for it, his word for it. Exactly. Like you can't like, like can't just can't, assume like imagine a nigga concussed and still playing again. Like that that's long term brain damage. Hell yeah, that nigga that's CTE. That's CTE. That's fucking and that nigga end up like Antonio Brown, bro. Yeah. Which damn. is crazy. Why did you do that? Bro, cause you—that's the—that's the—that's the earliest that nigga, case, bro. That nigga, that nigga, he got CTE. after after that hit, you know. You, you know, you remember that hit? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that was. The I forgot what, was it against the it was Bengals. Bengals, yep. Yeah. Nigga yeah. got cracked, bro. Fuck that! It was a bad hit. I'm that saying, bro. That's why because it's like niggas think he went crazy, but I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you get hit in the head a lot of times, you might lose a few screws, bro. Yeah, you are gonna lose. You might start thinking a little bit differently. Oh yeah, bro. I heard um there was a nigga from. The Patriots, I forgot who his name was. I don't think it was Wes Welker. Welker. It was one of those niggas. I don't think it was um Julian Edelman. It was one of the guys from the Patriots, one of the wide receivers. Bro, they said his wife had to read to him in bed and like give him puzzles because he used to get hit in the head so much that he was starting to forget some stuff. What? So she had to like read to him and like like make him do puzzles right before he go to bed just to to exercise his brain back to normal. Nah. Like just imagine, bro. You get hit so many times, you just start forgetting shit, bro. That's that. That's horrible, bro. I, yo, it, it's a wild. World, yo, bro. okay, bro. Like, would you be a football player knowing that that's the case, bro? Like, you could do. Would that? I be a football player? <sighs> because football players get hit every second. I play the- defense. You play defense. I'm only gonna play. De- I'm not playing offense. I feel like they. That's what they do. I feel like these niggas like. They they make it. They know it's a dangerous sport, but you gotta make it seem cool. Yeah, you gotta make it seem cool, just like wrestling, bro. Like wrestling is dangerous, but like, like mixed martial gotta, arts. Yeah, and a UFC, but you gotta make it seem cool. But like you can really fucking you can die in that shit, bro. You can really die. Yeah, but yeah. you can't make it. You can't make something like that look bad because niggas not going to play. Yeah, that's true. Then you're not gonna make money. That's what I'm saying. It all revolves around like. Getting people to be in the shit like it's all a cycle. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta make it look cool. You gotta have niggas. You have to have niggas in the face of the league like fucking Patrick Mahomes, Lamar Jackson. You gotta have niggas like that to make niggas want to play. But really, that shit is really difficult, bro. And like you, you could really one bad hit, you're done. Yeah, that's the wrong way, you're done. Which is which is which is that's like a crazy like. Thing like to think about you like of 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 how how that shit works, bro. bro. I remember I used to when I played football in middle school. My <laughs> the first ever play, bro. I played linebacker. So so in football, right? The point of like when you're a linebacker, like the goal is not to always get a tackle on the ball. The goal is to like there's gaps, so you have to fill in your gap so you can funnel that person to a tackle. Okay. So you might not always get a tackle. Yeah. So my gap was the eight. So there's a so there's gaps in between the linemen. So I played like a gap. Yeah, a B gap, B gap, C gap. C gap. I played there's outside, inside, and middle linebacker. I played inside, inside, outside. So I had to go to the A gap. I remember I was going in, caught, went in. I was home free. I seen the nigga. Lineman came out of nowhere, cracked my ass. <laughs> but it wasn't like I fell. You just hear a big. And nigga said, ooh. <laughs> because, like, his helmet hit my helmet. It was a great block. That nigga, <laughs> it was a great block. But I didn't see that nigga coming. I thought it was home free, bro. Yo, nigga can, hit can me. you, like, see, I never played. Like, I never had football helmet on before. Yeah. So, you like, you can't see, like, at all on the sides, bro? You could see. It's big enough. Like, it's like it's like this. Where you could see? You could you see? see? You could see a good amount. You could like, see can you amount. see your peripheral? Yeah, I mean, you, oh, you know what, you know what, it's like, it's maybe like this, like if you put, if you put your, your fingers to your temple and go like this, it might be like this, like I can, I could see you a little, like I could see you, Oh. but it's like, I can't, I you know what I'm saying, like it's not like fully, I can see you, but I can see a little bit okay, of you, I see, I see. but like, 
That's what I'm saying. Like, there's a you do have blind sides though. Yeah. Like a blind side usually come in from like this angle. Oh yeah, you 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 know. You're gonna you get know. fucked yeah, up. Yeah, gonna, That's why they made rules like you can't hit niggas like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like other than that, like it's nothing too crazy. Okay. Like, but like they used to. Oh my god, that's sick, bro. They used to try to hype you up to get ready to hit niggas, bro. Even even with the pads, man, that shit hurt that motherfucker. Only when like uh, it wasn't that bad. It, it was just like. It was. It I was, mean, obviously you're play, you playing in high school. Yeah, it was you, you middle school. Yeah. yeah, so I'm not used. School. You wasn't playing grown ass. No, actually, in middle school it was still bad because it was nigga. <laughs> we had we had Mike Tavert off and oh Mike Tavert. Oh yeah, that's bad. That's bro, bad. that nigga right Chris Boris picked my ass up and slammed me, bro. Yo, word two, bro. I I used to and Daryl. Daryl. Yes. This Damn. is what Daryl used to play off offense and defense. Damn. That's why I play defense. I did not play. <laughs> I did not play fucking offense, bro. Yo, I didn't do that shit. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I remember, bro, when we and was Jordan bro. Pierce. My bad, I forgot Jordan Pierce too. You remember Jordan J- Pierce, tall ass? Yes. Were you dead ass? Why the fuck he was playing football? He was a tight end or something? Nah, he was a tackle. Oh, tackle, left tackle. Yo, I remember, bro. One time, bro. One time, when niggas was niggas was playing, uh, like you know, when, remember I used to go to Washington. Yeah, yeah, we used to play football. Yeah, us. bro. You know, Mike was always tall and big as hell, but yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, and I guess it was like the first few times he didn't usually do it. I guess he you know, he was playing football, football. Yeah, yeah. He didn't usually come play Was in Washington. Once in a while. Yeah, once in a while. Bro, I gotta I gotta catch, bro. Nigga nigga tackled me, bro. Yo, my knee, my body was just I was I, on like this, bro. I never got <laughs> tackled like that in my life. I was, <laughs> like like Never got tackled like that in my life. And you know, there's no pads. Yeah. I, I in my head, like I'm wondering like why are you like ta- why are you doing this? Like why yeah, are you tackling like that? What was this? that? Like, like sixth grade, maybe? Bro, that was like, yeah, that was like sixth, seventh grade, maybe, bro. He like he tackled me, bro. bro. Like it was bad. Be, but like <coughs> I don't know, bro. I, I you know, I wasn't used to well, I was Used to getting tackled, but not that crazy, bro. Yeah. And I tried to juke him. That nigga got good form, bro. Yeah, he got good form, <laughs> bro. Good I, form. Tr- I tried to juke him. That's why he's Division One, bro. Yeah, bro. I tried to juke that nigga, bro. No. Nope. That nigga said, yeah. I s- Yo, slam me. I said. <laughs> Yo, niggas, niggas, niggas looking at me. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> niggas' bodies hurt, bro. <laughs> my body hurt, bro. Bro, I'm That was the first you. time my body was just like. Hurting, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It used to be so bad, bro. It was bad, bro. It was a bad. Ta- it was. It was a great tackle. Bro. You know what was cr- kind of crazy, but I remember. I remember. I think you was there with me the first time I I played at Washington Park was during that fair. Remember the Washington? Yeah, fair? Washington Fair. Yeah, bro. We was playing with high school kids. They was yeah. playing with oh, us. Yeah, yo, and they were throwing us. They was th- yo, bro. Then I remember one time a nigga threw me into somebody, and I think I got need in my nuts, bro. I thought I lost a nut, bro. Yo, bro. bro my shit was burning, bro. Yo, bro. It yo, never burned, bro. It was crazy. That bro. shit hurt, bro. Yo, yo, um, they the high bugging. school niggas? They were bugging. We was in they, sixth grade. Yeah, they, they, like, I, you know, I, I went to, I went to, like, watching them really frequently because, yeah. you know, I had to pick up my brother and shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. So I played a lot. Yo, they were there all the time. Bro. Yes, bro. All the time. Like, I don't know if you remember. I forgot what the name was. Like Timmy or something, Tommy or something. I yeah, I remember the name. I can't remember what he looked like. Yo, I know you're he, talking about. he had like a fro. Yeah, big, yeah. big, big fro. Um, there was this a lot of white, white, white high schoolers, dudes, bro. White dudes, a lot yeah. of white dudes, bro. Just, just yo, just tackling us, bro. Just ta- like fucking us up, bro. Fucking us up, bro. It's bad. They, they could have really hurt us. But yeah, no, they could have. <laughs> yo, I, yo, I remember. I don't know if you remember <laughs> Arthur. You remember yeah. Arthur, bro? Wait, young the Pickney? Yeah, yeah. Bro, <laughs> bro, I done seen that nigga. Okay, so he, he was he, we was always playing football, bro. Yeah, yeah. Play, always playing football, and you know, I feel like that nigga got hurt the most. Really? Because because I remember like Roman Roman was there and shit like that, and we're we're next to the like literally cement, like yeah. the grass. The grass is right there. The cement's like right there. But I remember that nigga went to go for a tackle, bro. <laughs> Nigga broke his tackle. That nigga fell on the some yo, just ripped everything. And not only that too, bro. Oh. Not only that, there was a pole like right here, bro. And 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 after right past that pole is like a playground. And you, this you is pass, at Washington. Yeah, I passed. Yeah, 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 Washington. Right past the pole, 
you know, the playground. Yeah, the yeah, playground yeah, yeah, the, yeah. For the little kids and shit like that. Once you pass that pole, you get, it's basically a touchdown. Yeah. Bro, Arthur went for a tackle, bro. Also, nigga broke it. I think Roman broke it. Nigga boomed on that on that pole. Oh my gosh, the sound that that pole made, bro. <laughs> Mark, my, I say, my mom was right there, bro. My mom was right there, and I was ready to go home, bro. What she say? Oh she was so scared. She did not want me to play no more, bro. bro. After that, bro, that 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 sound of that pole on to Arthur's head. I'm surprised the nigga alive, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, look look at him now. Niggas play D1 oh, football. Oh, yeah, now he's playing pole, D1. Bro. Yo, shout out Arthur. I don't know if you remember that, but that, that shit was that boom. Bro, I don't... Shook. I don't know if I told you when we was in elementary school. We was a bunch of fucking idiots, bro. Yeah. We used to, we used to play tackle football on the fucking pavement. Pavement, yeah. Like idiots, bro. Yeah. I don't know. You remember Sean Bartley, bro? Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know where you're you remember that this. story, bro? I know where you're This nigga Drew, this, bro. bro. Yo, shout out Drew. The nigga called me one day randomly. Oh, really? He didn't answer, though. Like, he called, but, like, I think he butt-dialed me. Oh, okay. Mad weird. If you're watching this, nigga, you're weird. <laughs> so, you know how Drew is. Drew is a goofy-ass nigga, but he's big as hell. He's big as fuck, yeah. He's goofy as shit, and, like, he always play around. So, we play... We wasn't even playing... We was playing push. Right? Like, the, so, and when, when we was kids, right... Why was we? No, there was, why was niggas playing push? There was, there was many different ways to play football. There was two-hand touch, touch push, push tack, wrap, yep, tackle. or tackle. Yep. Those are the four. Those are these are those those tiers. Yep. So I think, so we I think we was playing. Pu- it was he was playing push or it was two hand touch. But all I remember, Sean had the ball. Nigga Drew pushed the shit out of him. Oh nigga my. face hit the ground. Oh my bro. gosh, bro! He didn't get up, and we was like, we was like, yo, Sean, you good? Yeah. And Sh- you know, Sean is white. Sean the ginger yeah, was the yeah. gi- he's ginger, bro. So he didn't get up. We was like, yo, you good? Like, yo, we tapping him. We're like, yo, this nigga dead, bro? Bro, we picked the nigga face up. Blood, blood everywhere, everywhere like it looked like Crazy the blood. nigga forehead got cut open bleeding everywhere and like bro niggas was so scared and he was knocked out like knocked the fuck out like he was not awake <laughs> like niggas like i remember like because the, the wait so you turned him around not us the, was, the the teachers age oh the y'all aid, turned him around and niggas still knocked out yeah, he was knocked out bro like he was he was like sleep nah. and we're like nah bro and i remember they took him to the nurse and like kids was afraid to go to the nurse because they thought his, he was dead, bro. Damn. Like his body, like he was not nah, his body's crazy. He was he was like you know how like the nurse has that little bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, niggas yeah, used to like yeah, used yeah, to take naps yeah, on and shit. Yeah, yeah. He was laying there, and you know niggas used to go to <laughs> we used to you know go to the nurse like you tired like yo can I go take a nap here? I, I was about to go, but niggas like nah Sean laying there like we don't know if his face still bleeding or whatever. And like Sean, I think Sean like had, used to have seizures and shit. Like he was one of the kids that used really? to have seizures yeah all the time. And I think he had one when he got hit in the head. And, like, he was, like, because he was on the ground and he was shaking. We was, like, oh, nah. Is he okay? That Like, that that scarred niggas, bro. Niggas, ever since then, niggas did not play push. Niggas played two-hand touch, rap, or or fucking tackle on the grass. Yeah. Ever since then, bro. Niggas is Bad. Oh, my God, bro. That shit scarred Drew, niggas. Drew can't be the nigga that you want to get pushed by, bro. Drew was a big Drew kid. Drew was already big as fuck. Big, fast as shit, Fag strong as, as shit. Strong as fuck. He was, hey, that's why he went D1 too. Yeah, that's why he did. Hey, bro, this is, it's, a, it's a trend we, here. We, we, just, we just was facing D1 niggas, yeah, bro. We, we, we ain't know. <laughs> we ain't know. That's why we had to learn the hard the way, The hard bro. way. Shit, bro. We was wondering why not. That's a, we honestly felt how a D1 play, player is, bro. Yeah, bro. And they was just little-ass kids. I know. Imagine them niggas now. Oh, God. That should probably fucking Ooh, hurt, I'm, bro. I don't want to be part of it, bro. I'm not going to lie, though. If you give me... If you give me... Like, all right. For $100 million, you give me 10 carries. I think I can get, like, 50 yards in the, in the league, in the NFL. Give me 10 carries. You got to you gotta think about it, though. Oh, carries. Carry. Yeah. Give me 10 carries. I think okay, I get 50 Okay, so you're yards. a running back. I'm a running okay, back, Okay, yeah. I, I thought you was thinking about, like, a, a wide receiver. No, hell no. Um, I'm not catching that shit. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> first of all, you're not. That 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 throw, and not only that. I can't get no separation. Fucking nigga. <laughs> yeah, that nigga on your ass, bro. I'm saying. But um, trying to get, you got vision like that? Bro, you give me a good offensive line. I don't need the best. You give me, like, a like – a, like the who got a good offensive line right now? You give me like the Lions offensive line or like the maybe like the I'm trying to think the Ravens offensive line. I'll give you fifty yards. I just need a jet sweep. 
just toss that bitch and let me go around the. Yo, ten carries. Ten carries. That bro. means ten big ass niggas tackling you. I'm saying, but like, if I get it, I get a hundred mil or fifty mil, whatever I said. Oh, I, I'll probably do that, motherfucker. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I could, I could do it. I think I could do it. I might get, I might come out wounded, but I'm gonna get that bread. I'm gonna try. Bro. I'm gonna come out bruised, but yeah. I'm gonna try. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going up the middle, though. <coughs> oh hell no, nigga! I'm going side. Never up the middle. I'm, I'm definitely going to I'm like the veering outside. my way to the side. I'm going to and the they're outside. Not stopping me. I'm going to the outside, regard like every single time. Hell I'm gonna yeah. be honest with you, bro. Because I'm it's not full about sprint, it. bro. The middle, first of all, oh, that's. That's too many the, fucking. That's where the big niggas. That's at. where the big niggas. That's middle. That's that's a that's a Ray Lewis coming at yeah, you. Yeah, nah, I'm cool off that. That's I don't want to get Michael hit. Parson, Michael Parsons. The nigga going to fill up the gap. I'm gonna get fucking killed. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> nah, I don't want that, bro. No. I don't want those problems. I want I want, I want the, the quarterback. Problems. I want the cornerback. I want the quarterback. Give me problems. give me fucking uh not Jalen Ramsey. What's that nigga name? Give me like Xavier Howard or fucking uh James Bradbury. Give me James Bradbury. Yeah, I'll yo, juke the yo, fuck out yo, that nigga. Yo, this <laughs> nigga. I'll, I'll fuck that nigga up, bro. James Bradbury. I don't want to. Fucking, you see, you got me, you got me coughing now, bro. <laughs> nigga said, give me that nigga, bro. Give me that nigga. Give me James Bradbury. Give you me sure fuck. you could? Yo, at the end of the day, bro, they're... They are professionals. They're professionals. Give me... give me. I don't a, think you juking that nigga, bro. Give me a week of, like, stretching and, like, running and sprints. I'm going to hit him with the... A week is crazy. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna you hit him with month. the. I'm gonna hit him with the meanest footwork he ever seen in his you life. Need bro. a month. A month. Yeah. I got some quick feet. Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, right. but you're not understanding. What? You are facing niggas that have been doing this all their lives. That's cool. They can miss a couple doing, tackles. I don't think not to you. What you mean not to me? Not to you, huh? Nigga, I'm going to hit him with the meanest like stutter step he ever seen in his life, bro. He ain't never seen this shit before, bro. And you gonna get hit. Blind it's not gonna side. hurt though. You gonna get hit. You know, ain't gonna hit me that hard. You gonna hit get hit blindsided. I mean, by uh, by a mo- another. As long as he hits me, I pause from the back and I go up a couple yards. I'm cool. Yeah, you gay. <laughs> Why you gotta make? I said pause, bro. Nah. I said pause. Nah, because when I be saying pause, niggas don't niggas still be on my ass about it. You're right. You're right. I don't want. I don't hey, bro. Do it. This is 2024. It's a new year, bro. You you watch the you watch the um the celebration shit, bro. But uh, the New Year's the, the, the ball, ball drop. drop. Yeah, well, no, I didn't really watch that. Oh, because they I said, just heard five, four, three, two. One, they said when the ball yeah. dropped, they panned immediately to like two gay bo- gay dudes making out. Like Yo, five. word two. I seen that motherfucker. <laughs> I'm like, hold on, bro. Wait, what's going on? I mean, chick, hey, love you, but I love you, but like, I'm like, they was making out. They was going bro. stupid. They was going stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yo. oh, hey, yo. They was tweaking, bro. They was, like, <laughs> like, they was wild. I ain't gonna lie to you. They bro. Was t- but you know what it is, bro? Think about it, bro. That's a good sign because, you know, some boy right now is not sure what he is, and he's seen that, and that made him want to go ask that guy out. Yeah. But you know what? That might not be a good thing because that nigga might have said no. Yeah, but listen, bro. And now that kid might want to. I mean, I don't. Either way, bro, if it was too. I mean, I would have. I don't know, bro. It was just something new. <laughs> it was just something new. Saying, like, yo, you know what it was, but they was looking for these niggas. They was like, yo, where the, where yeah, the, oh, like I they pit. Yo, I remember I seen that. This nigga said, oh, <laughs> <laughs> he, like they was. <laughs> hey, bro, this is this is the new world we live in, bro. Hey, man, this is, they said the same thing when a black man was kissing a white woman, bro. Yeah, it's so the same it, thing. He's like, oh, niggas gonna get used to it, bro. Yeah. It just caught me off guard. It did. <laughs> that's just me. Hey, bro, that's how you, that, Lily, the year didn't even start yet. The year was a second in. Yeah. This was the first it five seconds. That, it's just that they was tweaking. I know. I'm like, like damn. it wasn't that they was like. They don't got no PDA, was, bro. It wasn't that they was like kissing. No, like, they was. They was tweaking. They bro. was tweaking. Oh, my gosh. Hey. Hey, man. Old, shout bro. out to y'all, bro, if you watching this, man. But, yo. um, What happened? Sorry. Oh. Yo, um, did you see? Um, we were speaking about football, but no, what? Um, did you see? Um, that nigga, um, Jimmy Fallon. What happened? Uh, wants to sue Aaron Rodgers because Aaron Rodgers said that Jimmy Fallon was in the list of uh Jeffrey Epstein shit. Really? Yeah. Is that were, what's going on? That's they, what's happening. Like Jim, well, Jimmy Fallon wants. Oh well, first of all, first of all, the the um Jeffrey Epstein, uh, list? I heard the list. 
and shit like already like they're being like unveiled or something. Let me see if it came like out. That. Wait, so is that why is that I didn't know that's why Jimmy Fallon had beef with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, yeah, because Aaron Rodgers said something about like uh Jimmy Fallon was part of the list or something. Like like he just called out Jimmy Fallon's late name. It, Jimmy Fallon. No, Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel. Oh, Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel. Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel. I, I, yeah, Jimmy Kimmel, not Jimmy oh. Fallon. Oh. Yeah, so uh he's apparently about to sue. For saying Yeah, so that's... yeah, there's hundreds of pages hundreds of uh pages of documents uh from the lawsuit connected to the accused sex trafficker sex trafficker uh Jeffrey F. Epstein have been wow. unsealed. So bro, maybe it says the documents the documents reportedly uh include the dates of prominent figures who have been associated associated with the late accused sex trafficker, bro. So maybe, bro. Wow, maybe they we go see some names, bro. bro Ho- I, well, not hopefully, but like I don't, maybe. Bro, but. I heard there's a bro. You know what it is too that I heard. Like I heard there's so many. There's like a lot of really really powerful people on that list. Yeah. That they paid stupid, stupid bread, bread for to it. take their name off of that shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah and they yeah, think yeah. those the they think those are the people who got that nigga Epstein killed in jail, bro. Oh shit. Because you gotta think about it, right? <laughs> They, they said they, he said he was gonna um he was gonna ride out on niggas. Yeah, he was gonna ride out on the trial, like right before bro, he was in he wasn't in prison. He was in like like witness protection, like custody. Like he was in like his own facility mm-hmm. with people. And he said that they was talking about like the guards in there were like brand new. Or like it was like two guards in there that was supposed to be watching him. One of them was like a ha- like he was just barely started mm-hmm. and they don't know what happened to him. And I guess like the cameras at the time weren't working at all, so nobody seen who killed them, mm-hmm. and or how he died. But like as they said, they're saying he killed himself. Mm-hmm. But like they, he he didn't have no reason to kill himself. Yeah, of course not. No. And like they think that somebody. It's some, always that like that, bro. Bro, some people think they they said like I guess there was like a, a bunch of prisoners that were in that cell with them. They um, oh, this is what happened. There was a there was other people in that facility, so I guess some of them got out and like. They don't know how they got out, but they was just like walking around the facility or they got transferred into his like cell or whatever. And they don't know what happened. Nobody knows what happened to those people that used to like be around him. Nobody knows what happened to him. And those people, like they don't know what happened to them. They don't got no names of those people. They don't know what happened to him. And I think, I don't know if they asked him or if they still don't know or, you know, they don't know who, who did it. But it's like they know there was people in there with him. Mm-hmm. And people think that some niggas hired niggas, like one of the inmates to kill the nigga, mm-hmm. to, and I guess like in exchange, their freedom mm-hmm. and money. Because mm-hmm. imagine, bro, like they found $600 million in cash and assets on that nigga island. $600 million. Yeah, there's a, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money, bro. They don't know where it came from. Pain, pain. They, they, try, they, you feel me? What do you think happened? Wait, I'm sorry, but this is a sensitive topic. Like, what happened to the kids that were being sex trafficked? Like, what, what, okay, explain to me what, what, what it was. Like, was it like there was kids in there? Mm hmm. So, this is what, this is what was happening, right? So, supposedly, right, Jeffrey Epstein was a human trafficker. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. So, what they do is it's always like the rich people. It's not, they're not doing the trafficking. They get yeah, other people they're, they're, to they're, traffic kids. Yeah, yeah. Bring him to that island. And what he was doing, he was having like high end people, like really rich people come pay money to come to the island to do things with these kids. So what do you think happened to the kids? I don't know. I think are, I, are, it's, it, they're just not it, disclosing. The I feel like they're name. disclosing the information because of what it is. Because, you know, because th- think about it, bro. The the only people that could really the people that could rat out are the kids. Yeah. I think they Or unless they weren't able to like see seize the kids. See like I feel like they I feel like they weren't able to like know who the kids who? are. And I feel like because I think what happened was I don't know if they were doing they they think they were doing rituals <coughs> on these kids and like I don't know if they were killing kids or have doing like relation, like doing things to these kids. Like I don't know what these kids were doing. But a lot of these kids came from third world countries. Oh. So they're not really like Americans. There are a lot of people American. from like Mexico, Guatemala. Oh. So they don't really know no, much. And they're like young as fuck. Oh, so they probably don't have man. enough information to aware the fact that 
they can like help out what happened on the it's island. Fucking crazy. And if anything, they might have just killed all of them beforehand. Yeah. And it's crazy. It's like, like, and it, I feel like, th- I feel like this whole thing, like this whole case, is like, is like classified. But I think they're gonna break it out in parts. Like I feel like the the list. Like when the list drops, that's the first part. Yeah, and then it's just gonna keep going and going, and going. Because I've seen, I heard like Eminem was on that list. Mm. I heard Mad People was on that list. Like hello, people like Oprah, like so many people you wouldn't think is on that list, bro. And I feel like, I feel like when that list drops, all hell gonna break loose, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be bad because yeah, you know, because you know, you know, it's like we look to we look up to a lot of these people, and now that we think that this list of they're uh, they're gonna be a part of what this man was doing, supposedly. I feel like I feel like at low key I f- especially especially I'm sorry. It's no, me. no, you cool. <coughs> especially to the people that we already that already have like positive influence on the influence on like children. On children yeah. and, and and adults too. Like they like a lot of adults really look up to like people like Oprah. Yeah. Like they they look up to if Oprah name is on that is names on that shit. It's bad. It's done. That's what it's, it's like. That's crazy. And like I feel like like even the Obamas, bro. There was a there was on it. S- supposedly the Barack Obama and them went to the island and like they because I think they 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 had like a family picture like on an island in front of a uh, a little building and they said that building is on that island. What? And it's crazy, yo. It's so crazy, bro. Like I feel like. I feel like Jeffrey Epstein wasn't behind this whole thing. I feel like he's the scapegoat of the whole thing. Mm. I feel like he was... There, there was a lot more other people. Yeah, I feel like it was a lot more other people. I feel like it was a group that was behind all of this, and they just put the blame on that nigga. Mm. And that's what... And, they, and like he was going to rat niggas out, and they killed him. Mm. Because there's no way... Because I, he wasn't even famous. He was just... He was friends with rich people. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, I, I, think, I, don't, I think he was, like, maybe a financial advisor. Yeah. But he didn't have stupid money yeah. to where he could fund, like, all these things. Like, maybe he did. But, like, $600 million? Yeah, he was Where the fuck he, he get that he from? He had to be a scapegoat. And I feel like... I just know he was friends with a lot of, like, famous people. Like, the Clintons. Um, like, uh... Oprah and they, a lot of famous people he knew a lot of them mm. and I guess like he was just like that one odd nigga out like so the people were like you know what if we ever get caught this nigga blame is going we're going to blame it on this nigga cuz yo we do that shit all the time bro yeah yeah we blame shit it's not it's not hard to put the blame on other niggas bro and it's yo it's so it's the it's the weirdest thing That's in the world crazy, bro crazy bro oh my god i got to go look at that shit like that whole story because that's mm-hmm. just crazy it's the a fact cr- that the fact that it's literally like confirmed that there's probably like people yes bro that are on that list mhm think about like, it that's crazy think about the type of people who like there's people on like they said people on there are really trying to get their names off that shit like they're paying stupid amounts of money imagine how much they paying yeah just to get their name off a little list because they know they it's over for them yeah oh yeah bro like it's like I told you bro there's a lot of secrets in this world that we will never know in our lifetime. Yeah. But we're just going to have to just... Wait. Either wait or just believe whatever these niggas tell us. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas... Like, it's... Especially with, the, like, a sensitive topic like this. Like, with the children and trafficking. Like, I ever, you ever watch that movie, um, Sound of Freedom? Nope. There's a, there's a movie... It came out recently. And it's about uh, child trafficking. I think you'll like it. It came... It's, it's on... Do you have Amazon? Uh... uh yeah, you have yeah. Amazon Prime, like the movies. Yeah, you should watch it. It's like it's free. Uh, so like it, it, when it came out in the movie theater, a lot of people were very weird about it because like they will be in the movie theater and like like the Cinemark people or the AMC people will come in and say like oh like I'm sorry like we have to refund you money like we can't show you this movie, really? and everybody was like creep they were creeped out like it's like why the fuck we can't watch this movie it's just a movie, but it's it's based on like a true story so it was like a it's about um a uh, a guy who worked with the um. What's that shit called? Home, Homeland Security. And he w- his job was to find, like, predators and, like, people who was doing the child trafficking and shit like that. But he only found the niggas that was the the predators and the child traffickers, the niggas, like, pedophiles and shit like that. He never found kids. Mm. Until one time, he decides, like, you know what? I'm going you know, to go find some kids now. I've got to find some kids. So he found this one kid. It was a boy. And his bro- he found him. He tracked them based on like the the guy that they they took down. They tracked the kid, and they found the kid. And the kid had a sister, 
So the whole movie, he went out and trying to find a sister. And, like, he ended up finding her in, like, a village because they sold... Bro, they be selling these kids to, like... um, Because, you know, like, in, like, the jungles and shit like that, like, in the back country, there's a lot of, like, rebels and shit. Yeah. They will sell kids to niggas, like, that live back there. What? Like, you know... Like, they... So, like, they sold the little girl to a... I forgot. What were they? It was in... I think it was Mexico. It was, like, the back... The back country of Mexico, like, in the jungle... And it was like a group of people that were like fugitives and rebels, and they sold the little girl to them. And it was just they were just like, like you know, you know, doing shit with the kids, and like he had to save the girl from them. But like it, may, it really makes you think like niggas are really sick. Yeah. And it, that was a true story. Like this is just think about because I never, I never thought of it as like. I used to think with like all the human trafficking and shit like that. I remember I was watching a movie like when they traffic like older girls like our age. They would just have them in like a little box, and like people will come in and like they're all drugged up and do shit to them. Mm. Nah, these niggas is like selling them to like not like to like not even third world countries. This is like fourth world, bro. These yeah. niggas is in like this is not these not even the tr- it's like worse than the trenches. Yeah, like these niggas living in huts got AKs and they have their own society in the in the woods, bro. Like just imagine, bro. Yeah. And like it made me think like there was a whole like there was a a cult. In I think the nineteen eighties, created by an ex Nazi, like I for, what was his name? Let me, I wrote it down here. I forgot what his name is. There was a cult. It was called Colonial Dignidad, and it was like a cult made in like Chile. And there was an ex um Nazi who fled from Germany to Chile, and he brought some Germans with them, and he promised them like, oh yeah, like he, he brought them there to create like his own like, um. Uh, what was those camps called that with the Jewish people? What was them things called? The those concentration camps? Nah, it wasn't a concentration camp, but like his own like little empire, his own little town uh, full of German people. So he brought them there and like the people thought they was just gonna live like free, but like he ended up like torturing a lot of the people that was there. Like he used to like kill a lot of them and then he would take their children and he would take the children and he would tell them like not to talk to their families or they'll get beat and things like that. And he went so far that he ended up building a whole hospital. In Chile. And he would have, he would, like, have, like, like the Chilean boys or whatever. They would go to the hospital if they're sick or whatever. And he'll make the nurses sign them into adoption. What? Because they're, they're like, third world countries. They don't yeah. really have much. So, like, they, their parents don't know. And they'll take them away from their families. And they're, like, a lot of them are really young boys. Yeah. And, like, he would take them away from the families and bring them to this little camp in, like, the fucking jungle. Like, his camp was, it was some... Crazy ass camp Like it had like It was like a fortress He had a It was like a big ass space With barbed wire around it With like fortresses And it was like a big watchtower And he had people in there And he would just Like I think all He he would only pick boys though Mm. And like It was like one of the biggest Like mysteries Cause like I think 600 people went missing In his little cult He don't They don't know what happened to them He don't know what they did with them And like But like Going to that far To making a whole fake hospital Is crazy bro just imagine you bring your kid to the hospital. They they tell him like, "Oh yeah, he's not here he's no not more." Even here no more, bro. What type of shit is that? Yeah, it's a yeah. it's an evil world we live in, bro. It's really an evil world we live in, bro. Like they make I remember they made they I think they made a movie about it, like a whole documentary about the whole shit. But hey, man, that's why then that's why you gotta really protect the kids out here, bro. Yeah, bro. Like these, that's crazy, bro. It's crazy that some of these niggas. Really living their life like that, bro. Really living their life like like they living a double life, bro. Like, mm-hmm. and not only that, you got fucking kids. Mm-hmm. You really got to protect fact that you don't give a fuck because they're um, the, like they live in a third world country and shit like that. Mm-hmm. And you don't give a fuck that. It just it just it just nuts, bro. bro. And like in that movie, I was talking about freedom of uh freedom, the sound of freedom, or whatever. The way that the guy caught all the people was that. He, he, he gave the person the idea of creating an island where people could go and have sex with these kids, like mm-hmm. Epstein's Island. Yeah, like Epstein. Yeah. He he, and like he he made them think that they were part of. He was like undercover. Like he made them think that like yeah, like I'm with you guys. Like just bring these kids because he was trying. He wasn't trying to find the kids. He was trying to find that one girl <coughs> because he knew like this person sold that girl somewhere. Like I don't know where. Like he, he was just wondering where it was, and like so they brought the kids on a boat. And, like, they made the island look nice, bro. Like, they had, like, tiki bars. Like, it was, like, a bar and everything. And it was supposed to be an island for, like, rich niggas, like, pay 
hundreds of thousands of dollars mm. to go there and to do things with these kids. Mm. And it really makes you think, like, there's really the Nick. <laughs> The niggas that have so much money and power are the the weirdos. Yeah, oh yeah. They're really the weirdos, Hell bro. Yeah, These bro. niggas that have like that make six figures or have, make millions of dollars, they're really seven, weird as fuck. Yeah, seven figures. Yeah, they weird as fuck. It's really crazy, bro. Fuck. And it's like, yo, I understand. Like watching that movie, it may, like it's like I can't I can't be an actor in that movie, bro. I yeah, can't I'd be, be a, like, yo, this this is too. It's od. Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> that shit too much, bro. It's od because not only that, like. This this based on a true story. Mm-hmm. So like it, I think he saved the guy saved maybe like two hundred kids. Oh shit. Yeah, but there's they said something like two million kids get stolen every year, bro. That's fucking crazy. It's bro. wild, bro. It's really wild world we live in, bro. Jeez, bro. The kids, these niggas, they don't got nothing to do, bro. They don't got nothing to do with nothing, bro. Now they got now you bring them into politics, bro. They don't know nothing about politics. Now you gotta bring them into some dumb shit. It's crazy, bro. It's really crazy. But I gotta. I got some shit we could talk about. So, so, so I have these, since we're talking about movies, I have these three movies. Who would survive longer in these movies, me or you? Okay. It's The Maze Runner. You. You think so? Yeah, I ain't even watch that one. You never watch The Maze Runner? Do you know what it's about? Yeah. You like told me a million times. I did? Yeah. That's my issue. That's what you I'm trying love to it. <laughs> you love that movie, but I can tell, boy. Hey, bro, it's a great movie, bro. But um, it's just like Hunger Games. Yeah, I don't think you can survive just because it's a fact. There's hella niggas around you, bro. Me? Yeah, it's just it's. it's what about you? I'm cooling. Yeah, sure, nigga. nigga I, you go. You, I'm gonna die first. You just gonna die another time, nigga. I just feel like you gonna get sick with all these niggas around you. And then when Stop the, being weird, bro. And then when the one girl I'm comes sick, in. Oh, this nigga's annoying, bro. Nah, there's no way you use this as my as a like as a as a as a tool. Bro, I'm just yo, I'm not even gonna lie, bro. I don't know how I I used to never get sick, bro. I I don't know what it is. My immune system not what it used to be, bro. I've hey, been man. getting sick this past months, bro. You I need don't to eat know some more vitamin is. C, bro. Yeah, I probably I do need to boost up my vitamin, bro. But I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'm a I'm a lose. I'm a die. But you <laughs> but you not gonna. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna get out that motherfucker. Out. I'm gonna figure out the maze. You gonna lose? Nah, you I ain't gonna, gonna lose. You gonna die eventually? Nah, cause it get physical, don't it? What that supposed to mean? You think I'm not physical, nigga? Nah, you don't got that dog in the car. The fuck? I'm sorry. Yeah, Yo, this nigga's just chatting, bro. Niggas just got other no. Niggas just got. I feel like. If I, need to, to, if I like, need to beat a nigga ass, nigga gonna die. Yeah, but I feel like, bro, nah, I don't know. But if you, you but you gotta be strategic you, about know, it, though. I don't know if you if you got that 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 shit in you. To nigga kill just somebody. call me pussy. No, not to kill somebody. Oh, I'm not gonna kill nobody. But you gotta like you can't you can't like act out because now you look at it as a target. Oh, okay. you know what I mean? Okay. Like you can only act out accordingly. So you gotta be strategic. Like you can't just fight these. Ni- you can't fight this one nigga when you got a group of four niggas with him. Mm-hmm. Cause then the group, if you kill him by accident, the three niggas gonna try to kill you. Of course. Or you gonna get banished. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna be to my like like the whole point of that movie is like, you know they they trying to create a society or whatever, see who can survive, and then they put one girl in there, or whatever. And it's like I just I'm just gonna do my job every day, and then if I if push comes to shove, if them little quality things come out, I'm gonna hide. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna hide, bro. You gonna die? Nah, I no, live, bro. But, but you're gonna live longer. It's to live longer. Exactly. So you're gonna die eventually. All right. How about a quiet place? Oh me, easy. You really got? You know, you really that Hell quiet, bro? Yeah, bro. I could get quiet, bro. <laughs> you're not going. You're not going. You're not. What gonna does hear that me. even mean? I don't even know what that means. What does that even? I could, I could, I get, could get quiet. That don't even make no sense, bro. Nigga. I don't know, bro. Like you gotta think about it, bro. You in the world, you stub your toe, you can't even yell, bro. That's fine. You gotta walk with you gotta walk barefooted forever. Step on a twig, you dead. I ain't gonna lie. That walking barefoot is gonna is gonna be the, I got socks. Oh, you do got socks. Nah, I don't think you surviving longer than me though. I think I'm sorry. I feel like you're gonna get caught up on some shit where I feel like this is what's going to happen, right? Nah. Fritz is going to run out of food, right? Nah. This nigga's going to run out of food. Look at you putting scenarios on me, though. All right, keep going, though. Fritz is going to run out of food, right? He's going to go into town. Not knowing where the food is, but he's just going to go to in search of food. And then he's going to get caught out in the nighttime. 
He's gonna find them little crawly things. He's gonna make noise. He's done. Forget what you're doing right there. What? You was making noise. <laughs> you ain't see. Look, look. What? That's go, you right there. Go ahead, go ahead. What, what are you? No noise. No noise. Go. <laughs> you hear that? You dead. I'm not dead. But now you gotta think about it. you're in an apocalypse scenario, bro. What that mean? Like now you have to ration for food. You got you gotta really think about like every move you make. Every yo, move. yo. The thing is though, I think I could I could ration my food. Yeah. But if I do go on a hunt for food, I think I can make it to that Domino's that's right there. By your crib. By my crib. From here. Oh no no not from here no I'm dead. Can you from make it here? to the quick check? I can make. I, I'm thinking I'm by my crib right now. Oh, if you had your crib, nigga, for, this I know you gonna die. That Domino's not gonna be open. Damn. Look at this nigga. <laughs> nigga didn't say nothing. He didn't say. He lived right by a shop. Right. He lived right yeah, by a stop, stop and shop. Stop and shop. 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 This I can make nigga it to that said stop shop. Domino's. I can make it to that stop and shop. That's how I know you're not really. I can make it to that stop <laughs> shop. I can make it to that stop shop. I mean, I would hope so. That's the same thing as the Domino's. It's right there. Nah, it's a little bit further, bro. Oh, it's a couple a more bit, steps. Oh, bit, bit more two steps, more, bro. two more minutes. Nah, it's a little bit more, bro. Oh, my fault. Okay, but the quiet place four minutes is a lot of minutes. It is a long time. It is a long time because you got to do. But you do you think you have you have the patience for that? I don't know if you're that patient. My nigga, if we in a post-apocalyptic world and I got no eats. <laughs> Yes, I'm that patient. I got no, I got no choice but to be that patient. Hell yeah, <laughs> I I'm like making I'm a, it, but all right, all right, all right. And the last one is Jaws. Say we're on a boat. Nah, you, you got that. Bro. Yep, I knew it. I nah, didn't get with that you, one. Now you knew. Now you knew. Chris don't like water. I don't like water. I don't like water. I think the only way I don't it, like water species. I don't like none of that. This nigga said species. I, I think the only way I die way. first. This nigga Fritz gonna like get like if we're lost at sea. This nigga gonna get like. Like, cr- go crazy and just like kill me or some shit. Would you think so, bro? I wouldn't do that. I like, I don't know. I know you wouldn't, but like, I don't know your crazy. Like, nigga, when, when nah, I ain't gonna niggas lie, get my, crazy. Nah, my nah, my mental. If I'm at water, bro, and jaws, bro. Yeah, that's a big ass shark, nigga. I'm gonna need you to survive. You, we need to harpoon that motherfucker. Nah. I'm dead, bro. You just gonna cur- you just gonna give up? I'm dead, bro. You just I'm gonna dead. give up? We go. You could kill nah, that nigga. Nah, I'm dead. I'm dead, bro. We could kill I give that up. nigga. What? No, we, the- I give up. We're on a boat. Yes, I give up. What you mean? There's no like. Say we got the. Say we got a harpoon, or there's we can the find boat, a way. So you talk about a boat? Yeah, like nothing over us. No, it's not like a dinghy. It's like a little, like a like a little fishing boat, like a pretty. Nah, big, I'm pretty dead. Big boat. Bro, we I'm can dead. get our, we can make it. Like even if we had to make it back to the to the coast, you, you just gonna you cur- could make it. You just gonna curl up in the corner. No, nah, I'm gonna try. What? You- <laughs> but I don't think I could do it. Like, how you think you gonna die? How do you think them niggas died? They got they fell in the water. Niggas don't fall in the water. Hold on, motherfucker. Nah, I don't think they just fell in the water though. What else happened? You know, Jaws is big as hell, right? He is big as hell. You know a boat is small as hell, right? <laughs> you know you like. Do you not understand what's going on? There? But you gotta. Think. He opens his mouth, pause. We done. We gone, bro. Nigga, you understand that, right? That's when you jump out the boat and hop in the. That's where I'm dead. <laughs> do you not get that? Do you not get that? It's over with. See, that's how. See, man, that's when you gonna panic. I'm just gonna act like I'm dead already. He ain't gonna kill me. I'm just gonna float on the thing like I'm dead. Wait, are you serious? Nah, then you pussy. <laughs> nah, what? That's crazy. How's that crazy? So when, as soon as we jump off the boat, and he's coming for me, act like you dead. Nigga, I'm gonna be like this. You're gonna be like that, and he's just gonna. You're oh, not gonna eat me. Oh, dead body. No. Oh, sure like that. He gonna think I'm driftwood. You're just chatting. No, bro. I'm not. This, this nigga dead. Yo, what? Now you know how sharks think. Bro, I, I oh didn't, my fault. I bro, I didn't know you. Bro, were if you want to really get ta- fault, if bro. you really want to get tactical, sharks really don't be eating humans like that. They don't. So I'm saying, um, they don't. unless they flail and they're bleeding. Yeah. So what? If, but, I feel but, like you but, gonna panic. But you understand that jaw. You know how jaws work. Yeah. Right? You know how. Yeah. Dun, 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 they dun. didn't need to. <laughs> they didn't need for for all that to happen. You talk about jaws. Yeah. 
He's not a regular shark. That shark is big as hell. I feel like, like you got to understand where I'm coming in. I though. understand, but I just feel like he's not going to think you're driftwood. He's going to kill you, but he's going to eat you, bro. Regardless, bro. You got to act hopefully, dead, he's going to kill you. Hopefully he don't eat me first, bro. Yeah, I think it, that's 50-50. Nah, I think he's going to get you first. Why me, though? Because you going to be flailing in the shit. Nervous no, as shit. Huh? You going to be flailing in the ocean, nervous as hell. Yeah, I'm going yeah, yeah, like, to I'm going to be like, yo, relax. Like, I'm gonna, like, yo, we're good. How can you relax at that situation, bro? Bro, I'm telling you, you just got to tread low, like, slowly. Do not make too much ripples. Don't start screaming. Don't start attracting too much attention. If, he's, if that nigga turn around, all right, we already fucked. But if he's just going that way, just act like we dead. Act like we he killed us already. He just want to kill us. He'll eat, Eating is just for fun. So you don't think he could see movement? He probably could. But that's what I'm saying. You going to move more than me. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, so you're just thinking about living longer, bro. You're not thinking about, like, for real I'm still going to survive that. Yeah, I'm try. you're capping. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. All right, man. bro. I'm going to try, bro. It don't hurt to try. All right, man. All right, I got another question we could talk about. If this animal population was the same as ours in the world, would we survive? Chimpanzees. No. You don't think so? Nah, you know what? Wait. I mean, we have ammunition, bro. I know, but, like... I don't. I'm not saying we're gonna kill them, but like, just imagine though. No. We imagine need we to try kill to live them. with chimp, like eight billion chimps. We have to kill them. We, we're gonna have to kill them. Yeah. Yes. You know, you see Planet of, Planet of Apes, bro. Yeah. Well, I never. I haven't seen it. Uh, like, in its entirety. But. I feel like if I feel like the only reason we're at the top of the food chain is because we outnumber everybody. Yeah, if they, I feel like it was if it was even, and we also outsmart everybody because you gotta but, think you gotta think about it because monkeys could like they create like clicks and shit like like oh groups, yeah they move in groups yeah, yeah and they they be ripping niggas to shreds bro yeah yeah um chimpanzees are like Strong literally shit. the worst animal they're they're one of the worst motherfuckers bro nigga they will just rip your balls up and watch yeah, you suffer they 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 laugh bad. at you so I think I don't think we're surviving that I think they might I take feel like I feel like I ain't gonna lie. I feel like if we are to, like, survive it, bro, the government has to supply everybody with, like, guns. guns oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There got to be a law to, like, saying, like, you can kill Yeah, like, you them. have to, like, once you see them, niggas, like, you shoot. got to. Yeah. Shoot. Like, uh-huh. shoot first. Because if yeah. not, bro, it's over with. Hey, I don't think you're wrong, bro. Yeah. All right. How about, how about seagulls? The fuck? What the fuck a seagull going to do to me? Ima- Ima- not what they're going to do to you. Just imagine 8 billion. That's annoying that shit. Is a, that is a horrible... That's a horrible world. That's that, a, that is a horrible world. I would. I'll, I think... All right, look. I think we can survive that. That is a lot of... Nigga, like, imagine I'm, I'm at the be- at the beach. Oh, that's Nigga, nice. we, can't go, we can't go to the beach. Nah, we can't go to the beach. Nigga, they, you eat something, there's... Tw- imagine, bro. So much. 20... They're going to feel outnumbered. They're already going to think they're outnumbering us. 20 niggas attack you because you eating a slice of pizza. Yeah. Nah, I don't want to live like that, bro. Yeah, that's ass. But I think we could, though. It's just going to be too annoying, Yeah, bro. It, it, like we can. But it'd just be annoying. It'll be too like, annoying, Like, at least bro. I'm not fearing for my life. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's really true. Good, though. All right, how about whales? Hell no. Any type of whales? Hell no. I think we'll be straight. Oh, wait. A billion whales? A, oh, that's a lot. Is that enough space for, like, in the <laughs> ocean? <laughs> like, we don't know how big the Wait, how, let me see how many whales... How many whales? Like that is a crazy amount of whales. I know. I don't think that's whale. enough space. That's that's not enough ocean for them many whales, bro. There's only, oh my god, they said there's only fifteen thousand. Yeah, nah. They taking up all this. How the fuck would that shit look? They would just be like, oh my god. We're Eight gonna, billion whales. Yeah, I think nah. I think the world gonna end. That's when the world gonna end, bro. Bro. Because first of all, one, they're going to eat everything. They're going to be eating all the shrimp. They're going to be eating all the shits that... Because you know, going to be eating whale. I know, but like think about it. Like, it's not even like that because like there's some there's some like animals that oh. we need to like yeah. bring balance. Like yeah, Not eating wise, but like just to pre- like clean up the ecosystem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, like if they just keep eating all this shit and then everything's just going to start overgrowing, yeah. I feel like all the water going to run out. Yeah, they're yeah, just going to kill yeah. themselves. Yeah, yeah, bro. So yeah, eight billion is yeah eight billion. I'm cool. I'm not living my life like that. Damn, that's eight billion people in this world. Yeah, it's a lot. It was I think it just recently became eight billion. It was like six, yeah, it seven was like point six, something seven for a minute. Point something, mm-hmm. Shit. 
Just imagine when we by the time we die, how many people you think there'll be in the world? Good question. How many people? I mean, hopefully I reach old age. Mm-hmm. So I'd say probably <sighs> shit, man. Because cool, 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 a cool. 18. It's gonna be in the teens. Oh my god, that's so bad. Yeah, we're there, and let's say it's two gonna be two thousand. It's gonna be in the teens. Let's see how many people there were in two thousand. I think because I remember because right now it's at like seven point eight billion, but like you know they round up and shit. Yeah. In two thousand three, there was like oh my god, there was six point three billion. In t- six point one billion. In two thousand three. In two thousand. In two thousand. Six point one billion. So oh, we no. went up by one billion. One billion. In about twenty years. Oh, okay, that's not bad. So it's it, not that it bad. might. I, I might be twelve. I say oh, twelve. Uh, unless, unless you feel me, niggas, niggas just, just start. That's what I'm saying. If we have crazy. another war. It's gonna get fucking crazy. Yeah. Niggas, oh my god, bro. The horny niggas is gonna attack, bro. That's yeah, just wild, bro. Gonna, like they not gonna. They not going. That shit probably some bad. That's some, some nasty bad. sex, bro. That shit disgusting. Yo, bro. what are you talking <laughs> Imagine about? Imagine that shit. What are you talking about? PTSD niggas coming back from the fucking war. Yo, chill war. out. Chill out, bro. <laughs> Them niggas came back horny and traumatized, bro. Chill out, bro. <laughs> chill out. Bro. Horny and traumatized is a wild That's combination. That's a bad combination, bro. Like these movies did not portray it well. Like you ever seen that picture? Of like a little boy, like like when he entered the war, and then after like how he looked, like nah. his like his eyes like open like this, and the he just, thousand year stare. Yeah, yeah, the thousand year stare. Imagine, bro, that mixing with like extra horniness, bro. Yo, bro, that's that pro- is scary. That's probably how. That's probably when the fucking woman abuse started. Yo, this nigga's wild. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gotta be when it started, this cause nigga's wild. <laughs> he's probably just wild. Yo, imagine mid. Mid mid sesh, like nah. episode. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he's tweaking. Nigga said, "Nah, mid sesh," and then you have an episode and just start beating is crazy. Yo, <laughs> that's a crazy world. <laughs> <laughs> he want to laugh for real, but he don't want to feel like he can't care. <clears throat> hey, bro. And I don't want to call for like crazy. Hey, bro. You gotta you gotta hold it down. But all right, the last one is dogs. Dogs, yeah, dogs. Damn, that's a different type of dogs too. Yeah, yeah, I gotta kill the Rottweilers. That's what I'm saying. Because think about and eight the billion pit, and the pit bulls. E- imagine every person in the world, not even house, every person in the world had a dog. Yeah, not all of them gonna want that dog. They are gonna just let them niggas in the wild, and then they gonna, that's just like a whole new breed of like it just straight fucking savages. savage animals. Like them niggas might run in packs and just start running through neighbors and just killing niggas. Imagine uh, a yeah. pack of fucking pit bulls, bro. Yeah, so you definitely gotta carry. Oh, a pack of pit bulls? Bro, I seen a big ass pit bull, bro, in the, in, in, uh, on Instagram, bro. Yeah, the big niggas with muscles, bro. Yo. Nah. That nigga was named Hulk, bro. Yeah, yeah, nah. Not Hulk. That nigga's OD. That nigga's OD. He's like 225, what bro. What the fuck is they feeding that nigga, I don't, bro. bro. I think they pumped steroids in him, bro. They had to. I think they gave him something. There's no way he's that big. That nigga, yo. I don't know how you walk. That nigga is yo, too something. I have no idea how that nigga walk, bro. How do you carry all that weight, bro? Bro. I, With them little ass legs. Bro. And he has mad kids, bro. I think that I think that dog has like hell like look at look at that shit, bro. Look at the size of his head. Oh shit. Like his head is the size is bigger than the woman's torso, bro. Why do I keep pressing on it? That nigga, look at that look shit. Look at the size of his nah, head. Nah, that shit that shit has to be fucking like enlarged, oh bro. Oh my god. There's no way that shit real, bro. That shit gotta be enlarged. That shit looks crazy, bro. Like imagine this shit running at you. Full speed. Nah, You're dead. You you sh- you get shot, bro. You're dead. Sorry, you get shot. He he might be a lovable dog, but that nigga look like he can. I don't want to. I don't want to find out. Hell no, I'm cool. I'm sorry. I'm shooting it first. I'm cool. Oh, and uh, and the last oh last I actually have one more animal. The last animal is actually uh skunk skunks. Oh, skunks is crazy. I don't think nah. We're not living through that. We're not eight, living through that. Eight billion skunks. That's crazy work. The world is gonna smell like shit. Yeah. And I feel like eventually it's gonna it's gonna like. Make the put like toxins in the yeah, fucking air. Yeah, toxins. Yeah, yeah. That would be so bad, bro. Damn. Everywhere you go is a fucking skunk, skunk. bro. Yeah, that's, that's bad. a lot, that's bro. Bad, bro. I don't even think there's billions of any animal except like insects. 
Yeah. I don't think there's any like animal that's like in the billions or like even m- maybe millions, like maybe rats. Mm-hmm. The closest one either either gonna be rats or deer. That's Imagine it. Imagine eight billion rats, oh. eight billion mice. I feel like there's like maybe like a million or something. Maybe maybe a little more than that. But that's bro, that's disgusting, eight bro. Eight billion of it, bro. There's not we're not gonna be able to live nowhere. Nah, they're gonna we, be eating we, under the house. Yeah, we can't we can't live nowhere, bro. First of all, they're gonna be in every fucking house. I don't need that, bro. They're, you know, they're, 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 they're rat shit, like, they're shit, like, carry toxins. Yes, too, right? bro, nigga, bro, you know how many diseases we gonna have? Yo. That's gonna be so bad. Yeah, they gonna kill us off, bro. That's why, that's why we be eating these niggas, bro, cause they, Huh? They, wait, no, not rats. Oh, okay, <laughs> not, okay, 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 <laughs> okay, 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 cool. I meant, like, I meant, cool. like, animals in okay, general. Cool, cause we was talking about rats. <laughs> I know, You I needed know. to change the subject, bro. I know, I know. Yo, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> wait, hold on, there is, what type of shit is you want? I was a little scared. <laughs> I be <mean>, ear rats. <laughs> Yo, I was genuinely concerned. <laughs> I was like, nah, this nigga there just said, just told me some shit that I didn't, didn't know me, about. I it, didn't bro. need to know. I didn't need to tell All right, you. Yeah. Nah, but I'm saying <laughs> animals in general. Like that's why we eat these niggas. We gotta lower the population. Yeah, we down, gotta lower bro. the population. Yeah. But, oh my gosh, that's Damn, funny. That was bad, bro. But yeah, I, I feel like these animals, low key, are smarter than we think we that than we think they are. Yo, bro. mice are smart as fuck. Mice like, are smart as rats, shit. Like these, those little whatever, bro. They smart as fuck, bro. bro. Like even dogs, bro. Like you, like you, you ever heard of, like the the dog named Bunny that's all, all over social media? Nah. So like, have you ever seen like a lot of pet owners have been training their dogs to speak, but not like verbally, but they'll have like buttons around, buttons, yeah, and they'll yeah. press the buttons, yeah. and you know it'll be like. A uh, bunny wants yeah, yeah. walk or yeah, shit like that, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. bro. This dog named Bunny, bro. St- I think he's he got so good at it and started like learning how to talk. Like he thought he was like he. It's like he thinks like a human, so like he can have full on conversations with his owner. No way. Like any like like he'll just be he'll press the buttons. His owner knows what to do okay, all the time. It's and, on Instagram. It's on TikTok, and then That's it gets it. scary, bro, because he starts he started asking his owner. He's like, "Why dog?" Like, why am I a dog? And his owner couldn't tell him nothing. He'd be like, why dog? He just keep saying, why dog? And then he'll look in the mirror and he'll be like, who am I? And he'll, like, it got so bad, the owner had to put give him antidepressants, bro. Because he would just keep looking at the mirror and just asking, like, why am I a dog? What? Yes, bro. That's some crazy. He was shit. depressed? He, he got depressed, bro. Like, he would just sit, he would just look at himself in the mirror saying, like, why am I a dog? Nah, I gotta see this, bro. bro it's, it's the crazy. craziest shit in the world. Like I never, like it's some scary shit. Cause like it can, nah, like, that's crazy. Like that's imagine, scary. like if, imagine like some reincarnation shit. That's a nigga in there, and he Yo. realized he's a dog. Oh my god, I'm killing myself. Yo, that's some scary shit, bro. Like nah, sh- cause why is that dog seriously saying who am I? I why guess. dog? Like that's crazy. And like the owner feels bad, cause like she don't know what to say. Like I don't know why you're a dog. Like. Like, there's, like, I can't explain to you why you're a dog. Like, there's no yeah, reason. There's no, yeah, like, there's no explanation to why why I am who I am or why you are you. Yeah, exactly. But, like, if we explain, like, God and things like that to him, he's not going to understand. Yeah, yeah. But, like, that's crazy that he got to a level of thinking that to that that's what he's thinking about. Yeah, like, he's not thinking about food or walk no more. He's thinking about real life shit. Yeah, bro. Real life struggles, bro. God damn, asking, why bro. the fuck are you a dog, bro? Free that nigga bunny, bro. That nigga really, li- that's real life dude. I got to see that, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'll, I'll send it to you, bro. That shit was yeah, OD, send that bro. Shit, to me. shit is a, that scary shit. It's some scary shit, bro. Man, I free that dog, bro. But hold on, I got I got a couple more questions, and then I have um. Oh, I have. Oh, actually, let me talk about this one story. Uh, let me. This one story I seen the other day. Craziest shit I seen in a while, bro. Even crazy in the dog shit, right? So you so you remember back a couple months ago when GTA got hacked and they started leaking shit? Yeah. You know they caught the hacker. Oh, they did? But they caught the hacker. He was an 18-year-old kid from the UK. His name was um, Arian Kurtage or whatever. And so so supposedly, he's like a genius, my nigga. Like, he is like a child prodigy when it comes to this hacking shit. Yeah. Like, the nigga, he's a part of like this big, like, worldwide hacking group called Lumpus, Lumus, Lamas or whatever. And they're known for like, like, really hacking people and like taking people's like money and stuff. So it all started when he um he first started hacking a uh, a British like phone company and he held them at hostage saying like yo I need 4 million dollars in crypto or in money and I'll give you like your company back and then they caught him 
So they caught him and they arrested him and they put him under like house. They gave him bail, but they put him in a travel lodge hotel. He didn't have he didn't have his laptop with him, his computer, nothing. The nigga was able to hack into Rockstar and GTA Six with his cell phone, nah. and Amazon Fire Stick, and the and the Travel Lodge TV, bro. What? He was able to hack into GTA Six. He hacked into GTA and leaked ninety clips of GTA Six to like a unknown like gaming forum or whatever. And he he told Rockstar Gaming. That if you don't give him, if you don't give, if they don't give him $5 million, he's going to leak the whole source code for the game. He did that with a fire stick, my nigga. Nah. Bro, they, and then they gave, they gave him the money because he already leaked. They gave him $5 million, but then they arrested him. Yeah. And they put him on, uh, they sent him to life in a hospital because he has autism. Yo, it be the autistic ones, bro. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but they be the smartest. They niggas. be the smartest ones. They be the smartest. But they, niggas, I think bro. they I think they put him in a a mental hospital. But you know what I think that I think they did, bro? They could have put him in jail. But I think they said that he was crazy because they're gonna recruit that motherfucker, bro. Yeah. They gonna nah, they gonna recruit, recruit nigga, him, bro. He 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 going to the he going He's going to, to the big leagues, bro. Big... <laughs> he going to the big leagues, my nigga. There's no way. <laughs> he gonna hack like Every fucking whenever there's a war, bro. They're oh gonna my try to god, hack. They, bro! They go try to hack. They him. need that. Nigga. They need that. Nigga. If we have a cyber war, because think about, I feel like I feel like when they put that nigga in the travel lodge, that was his test to see what the fuck he could really do, yeah, bro. Because they said like they deemed him too dangerous for society, <coughs> bro. So I feel like what they're gonna do is they're gonna put him in that mental hospital. They're gonna kill him off, and he's gonna go ghost and work for the government. Work bro. for them, bro. Oh my god, that is od, a my nigga. Fire stick, a fire stick, a travel lodge. You know, travel ima- lodge. Ima- ima- imagine, what's a travel lodge? You know, the, the it's a motel, my nigga. It's not oh, a nice. Oh. It's not a five star hotel. It's a motel, nigga. Probably he used a fat back TV, so bro. The fat back TV. Yeah, either a fat back or a, or a booty or, flat screen. Yeah, bro. yeah, bro. But still, and a cell phone. How the fuck do you even? St- what do you start? <laughs> Where do you start to go hack a hack GTA? Imagine that nigga had like a. Had a computer. Had a, oh yeah, he he. Bro, he can him. steal all the money in the world yeah, if he really he, wanted to. Yeah, he's bro. only eighteen, bro. Yeah, that's old. If he was thirty, like imagine how much. Like I'm saying, bro, that nigga is recruited, and I am like I I don't want to be at war with Great Britain if that nigga's on eighteen, oh, bro. Oh my gosh! Especially if if a war is like a cyber warfare, he's he is going stupid, bro. He's oh, putting up. My he's gosh. putting up wilt numbers, my nigga. Yeah, bro. He's <laughs> tweaking. Oh my god. Nah, I didn't think it was that bad though. I thought it was a group of niggas. It was one guy, bro. And you wouldn't think. Wait, he was. wait, 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 wait. I thought you say he was part of a group. He was a part of a group, but like he did that on his own. What the fuck, bro? It's crazy, bro. He did that. He just did that just cause, bro. He just did it just cause. So he, that's what I'm saying, bro. These niggas. So that so so he had uh, GTA. Well, he had, he leaked the he clips leaked from the GTA Six. Cli- clips from did you see it? I didn't see it. it was, I forgot. I I tried to see what what he posted on, like if it was on Twitter, or Instagram, but it said some gaming forum. Mm. Like I guess it's like a a, a type of Reddit. Maybe yeah, he was talking yeah. about Reddit. It was probably Reddit that he posted on. Yeah. But bro, imagine what he could get into. Bro, he got into that place, nigga. We GTA Six have been niggas didn't know when GTA has been coming out for like what ten years. Yeah. He was crazy. able to do that in like it probably took him maybe two days, bro. Yeah, bro. It's crazy work, bro. Yo, and they said he, they said he was autistic, bro. Yeah, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Same, bro. I already said it, bro. They be the smartest smart niggas, bro. Smart as hell. They be the smartest niggas, bro. They smart as hell, bro. Hey, bro. It's crazy oh world, bro. God. I can't believe it, bro. I can't believe they shit, bro. All right, what other questions do I got to talk about? Um, that's ridiculous. Bro. It's really a fire stick. It's crazy. A fire stick, bro. In a motel. All right. So God is giving you a hundred million dollars, but you must endure a curse for five years straight. For every sin you commit, it will cost you a thousand dollars from that hundred million dollars. Right? Yeah. Or every food will be disgusting to you, but everything that is not food will taste good. So you could eat that piece of paper, and that shit'll taste like the best food, like steak you'll ever eat in your life. But steak will be disgusting. Or every sin that you commit. Will be a thousand dollars. Hey, I don't think that's good for my body at the end of the day. If I, if I'm eating objects that aren't food, you can eat grass. Ooh, 
I'm doing it. I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying, I'm my doing nigga. It. I'm eating could, fucking I could, grass. I could eat grass and leaves. I'm eating grass and leaves and going crazy, bro. Oh yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing that. I'm oh, eating yeah, grass. Nice. Nigga didn't want to do the same because he know why. Caught Stop being a weirdo, bro. Please. <laughs> Stop being a weirdo. I'm sorry, bro. It's just stop, so funny. Stop being a weirdo. But bro. you go, you gonna you gonna eat the food, bro? Yeah. I'm gonna eat the food too. I'm eating I'm eating grass. I don't know about rocks. I might I might I'm not eating rocks, no. I might that's, but that, bro, that think causes about it. Your teeth. That causes your teeth, bro. But think about it though. Not rocks though, but in general, but like you ever watch Strange Addictions? Yeah. They used to eat some crazy shit. A nigga yeah. used to eat a mattress. Yeah. And I could eat this. Y- y- what? I could eat this chair. Yeah, the inside of it. Yeah, I could eat that. You could do that. I could eat like. Wait, but think about it. I don't think those are good for your body, though. It's five years, though. I think I can endure that. Wow, I don't know. Just straight, just straight grass and. Oh no, I could do. I could do the grass. But now niggas gonna look at me like I'm a fucking weirdo. That's fine. That's cool. They don't know how much money I'm about to get. get. They don't know how much money I'm gonna get for real. Yeah, bro. So that's fine. I'll I'll do it. Okay. Okay. Um, let me think. I mean grass, leaves, uh, leaves, and uh, paper. Real shit, paper. Shit like that. Saying, Loki might, Loki might drink rubbing alcohol. You lost me. <laughs> you <laughs> lost me. I, I don't know. You, you lost me. Or, why? Or, or, <laughs> Wait. Or, why? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> Either rubbing alcohol or like. I don't think that's that's not good for you. Or how about what if you I You understand drink? it tastes good, but it's still like What about what about fuck I mean honestly the food that we eat is not good for us. Yeah, but rubbing but it like it's rubbing alcohol <laughs> for five years. I feel like you're gonna What about be, mouthwash? I'll do that. Yeah, I drink mouthwash. It does it says do not swallow. <laughs> so why do, why can't I swallow it? <laughs> but yeah, that's just a trick. I'll do the Dove kids. body soap? I, I do the kids mouthwash. The fuck that going to the kid mouth wash you? How about hand? How about hand soap? How about hand soap? Am I wilding? Yeah, I don't. I don't trust soap. Um, like at the end of the day, bro, I I'm gotta get to something think. that's good. That's that's not gonna hurt my body. You gotta, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think. What other shit? Rubbing alcohol? Like, <laughs> why did you just tweet like that? I don't know. I don't know. Cause I'm thinking like that's like, like rubbing alcohol is basically like 99 percent alcohol, and we drink alcohol. Yeah, but not ninety nine percent of alcohol. Hey, that shit might bust. And what is it gonna taste like? I'll fuck it up. Might taste like blue raspberry. It might taste like blue raspberry lemonade. I don't fucking <laughs> know. Thing, All right, um, I got I got a hell of questions. Damn, what should I talk about? Um, this is. All right, so would you rather? Get jumped by the Bat Family once a year, Jesus! But they won't kill you. But as soon as you get jumped, they will pay you fifty million each time. So after you get your bye, ass whooped by 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 the Bat Family, bye, Robin by Robin, Batman, Batgirl, yeah, they're gonna beat Red your ass. Hood, whatever they're gonna, they're not gonna, they're not, uh, yeah. Uh, yes. No, no, he's an outcast. Okay, cool. We'll say, we'll say Nightwing. They're gonna right. beat your ass randomly once a year for the rest of your life. But every time, they're not gonna kill you. They're just gonna beat you the fuck up. But when you're done, but after you're done, you're gonna get fifty million dollars wired to your bank account every single time. Okay. Or every, for every comic book villain you you bring to the real world, will be a hundred thousand dollars. And based on how high how, high it is, the more money it is. Crazy. So a nigga like Thanos would be like ten million. I'm not bringing Thanos to the world, my nigga. Nigga, I'm picking the the hundred K, bro. Yeah, but I'm not picking Thanos. No, no, I'm not. I'm picking, I'm picking Killer Croc. Killer Croc. I'm picking, I'm picking Doc Doc Ock. Doc Ock. Yes, I'm picking Doc Ock. Yes, <laughs> that's bad. I'm picking them. You two. know how smart that nigga is. I don't give a fuck. We got guns. Oh, you just folded. You chose the wrong niggas. I could put. What are you gonna put? Who are you gonna bring in? You gotta bring the penguin. The penguin. Hell okay, yeah, the penguin's cool. No, no, no. Okay, okay. The penguin. What, the penguin. The what, peng- what is the penguin really gonna do? He does. He doesn't have his people. He all he has is a group. That's okay. Okay, that's fine. I'll pick the penguin. Uh, you just picked Killer Croc. You understand that, right? <laughs> you tweaked. Stick a tweet. 
bro, just there's only one nigga. Don't be around where he at. Oh my gosh. Bane. I'll yeah. bring Bane. Bane. <laughs> he tweaked. It's not that bad, bro. He Bane. I'll bring. Yo. I'll bring. I'll bring fucking. Uh, Who's stopping Bane, bro? Nigga, we could put that if them niggas could put. Yo, we could put. We could find a way to put that nigga under wraps, bro. Just don't give him the juice. Oh yeah, there's no juice. Yeah, don't give him that shit, bro. He'd be cool. He a regular yeah, nigga, yeah, bro. He a regular nigga. He a regular nigga. Yeah. I'm trying to think Marvel though. <coughs> Marvel is really hard because all them niggas is like it's like it's, a- astronomical. Like they're they're just like alien nigga. They're level, they're they're th- powers like yeah threat level to the planet. Yeah, like so I don't. I already got five. I already got five hundred thousand dollars with them five niggas. I'm trying to damn. Oh, I, I mean, you gotta, you got. Oh, bring, bring. Uh, you gotta think of uh, Spider Man's been like uh, uh, the Kingpin. He's just it, a regular nigga. Okay. He's just a regular nigga that. Oh, I'll bring. Uh, what's the what's the nigga that that like the Batman? Joe. Huh? <laughs> what was the what was the nigga that the bat in the Batman movie the the nigga with the riddles the Riddler. Oh, Riddler. Riddler. Oh yeah, bring the Riddler. Riddler. Oh wait, uh, that nigga did some shit though. Uh, that might, nigga was making bombs in that movie. He was. He might. He might bomb fucking New York City, but I won't be over there at the time. Um, wait, this nigga is. You're thinking of it crazy. You acting like the like the penguin can't do some crazy shit either. Nah, he, he, nah, he might pig, fucking kidnap not, you. Penguin not that smart. The Riddler smart. Man. Penguin, penguin ass. He's a fucking penguin man. How about Sandman? No. Okay. Yeah. No. Nah, not Sandman. You, what? Not Sandman. Electro. No, electricity is everywhere. You're tweaking. Hold on. At least pick like Craven or something. Craven the Hunter? Yeah. They ain't, don't is he like a uh, okay. But is he like an anti-hero? Is he? I think he's like an anti-hero. Bro, you're picking the niggas with like literal superpowers. Like we're You got to make you got to make the world inter- world interesting. Like I ain't gonna lie, like I'd probably What? You got to make the world interesting. Yeah, yeah, you could die. I'm not, I'm not, you're picking Electro, the person that 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 is literally electricity. All right, how about Mysterio? What the fuck? That nigga was just faking everything. Was he? Like it was the it was the robots, but he might. You know what? He might fuck our heads up and just like make us like turn on somebody we don't want to. He oh, might fuck man. a reality. Cause I it wasn't just he didn't have really powers. He I was didn't just, watch he was away like, from home. Oh okay okay. So far from home. Okay, he, he like he was like he was like Iron Man low key. Like he just had the suit and like he would just have like he had like bots that would like could like create like natural illusions? disasters like illusions and shit. Like he was like a big he was like a scary ass magician basically. Okay. So yeah. So, uh, I think that, I think I could man damn that's only a million dollars though. But man, I, I can only live on a million. million dollars. Shit, we be talking about right now. But like, if you get but so getting you your ass, get, yeah, it'd be by the bad family once a year. It's once a year, but that's that's. If bad, I'm man. if I'm down bad, I'll be looking forward to that. Yeah. Oh my god, I'll be, be like, like here, I can't. here, please. I'll be like, yes. I'll be like, yes. Come on, bro. He's here. Yes, Batman. Yes. 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 No Rob yes. it here. <laughs> Yo, but no cap, man. A couple broken bones. Shit, yeah, I'm, I'm a shit, man. Once a year. Yeah, I'll do it. If I'm down bad, go stupid, bro. Hell yeah, man! I got the best doctors to so I can recover. Exactly. Next beat next year. Exactly. I'll see you guys next year. Yeah, bro. One hundred mil, bro. I'll, hey, do, bro. I'll do that one. All right, all right, all right. And I just got one more question, and then I got one segment that we can go into. This nigga it looks last like... segment. So, who is your superhero Mount Rushmore? It could be from DC Comics, Marvel. It could be. It could be fucking Spider-Man. Star Wars. Why am I wrong? It's five, right? Four. Four? Yeah. It's four heads? Yeah. That's too little. I say Superman. Damn, can I do my first? Oh, I thought <laughs> like, damn, oh, I, I thought already said like a, my word I thought was going to be together. Go ahead. Nah, go ahead. Bro. You go first. Go ahead. Sp- Spider-Man, <laughs> Superman. Uh-huh. I want to put Batman in. Woo, hold on. Batman and The Flash. The Flash? Yeah. Okay, okay. So for me, this is this is why he wanted to go first because if I would have said something, they would have thought I would be he's copied off my list, but now it's gonna seem like I copied off his list. Look at you, man. Look, 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 look at look at I thought we were gonna do it together. And I think it no you wasn't. I got I got multiple yeah, I got a couple mine. though. It's, it's Superman is definitely up there. Definitely. Superman's definitely up there. 
I would. I was gonna say Anakin Skywalker. Is he a superhero? Um, I fuck. I, I wouldn't count him. I won't. I won't count you, him. You won't count him. I won't count him. But I don't like, think so. because if you want to go like, if you want to do some shit like that, niggas gonna. It's, it's gotta be Superman, uh, Superman, uh, Anakin, Harry Potter, and fucking like Spider Man. Damn. But that's because you gotta go through all genres. Oh, you going through all genres? But like that, if I was going through all genres, that's what I would say. Based on like you know that's like popularity and like importance because I don't really know about Harry Potter and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. shit like that. But if it was just like DC Marvel, DC Marvel like Mount Rushmore's, Superman, Batman, Spider Man, and I would say Wolverine. Wolverine. I would say Wolverine. Wolverine. Wolverine, Wolverine, Wolverine had a lot of had a lot of anger management kids arts, bro. Niggas had anger management. They 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 related to Wolverine a lot. Yeah, Wolverine. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty decent pick. You know, what I'm saying I feel, I feel like, like Wolverine's pretty somebody, iconic. You know. But yeah, I I just I feel like this year for like movies is gonna be so ass. Like, what is even coming out for? Yo, first of all, first of all, I think this year for shows is gonna be pretty decent. Oh really? Like the Avatar show is supposed yeah. to come out. The Boys comes out in fucking June, the bro. The Boys. Um, I'm so mad about that. Invincible season two comes out. Invincible. Or part two comes yeah, out. Part two comes out. I don't uh, think any Marvel shit's coming out that I know of, unless it's that 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 Echo show. I heard that shit might be, but that might be crazy. That Echo. It's like a rated R. It's like I think it's like the first rated R. It's like, a show. Yeah, it's a show. First rated R like Marvel show or something like that since like Daredevil or whatever. Oh. Word. I think supposedly, but it's like MCU or whatever. Like there's blood and everything. There's a couple of like Netflix shows that I'm looking forward to. But there's to. like no movies. Like I remember last year we was looking forward to Ant Man mm-hmm. and like The Flash and mm-hmm. I don't know about Doctor Strange. I think Doctor Strange. This year it's like nothing. The right? Flash has a movie? Yeah, the 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 Flash movie. DC AMU the DC movie. The one that came out in June that was fucking ass. Did you watch that? Did I? I don't think so. Really? Was it was it with that 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 the that, booty that, flash that guy? Uh huh. Nah, I didn't watch that shit. I don't like him at all. Yeah, he's a, it was ass. I don't like him. But I feel like this year... Oh, yeah, he did have a movie. I right. don't like him, bro. Same, bro. I feel like this year we don't really got much yeah, to I work with. Yeah, I haven't seen anything about like movies like or Marvel I f- or DC I feel like movies. I feel like it's a down year this year. It's just going to... 2025, that's when everything's going to pop off and shit. So. Probably. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. But, all right, I got a challenge for you, brothers. Try not to laugh. Dark humor jokes. Okay. All right. So get your giggles out now. <laughs> okay. Oh, move move the mic over a little bit. Oh shit. All right. You ready, Fritz? Yeah. Are you good? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? Damn. You should have told me about some. These are like, or oh, these are dark humor. Dark humor jokes. Yeah. Okay. You should have told me to look up some shit so I could like. I'll have some. Try to oh. make you laugh. We'll do that. something next time. We'll do it next time. We can do dad jokes next. Time. All right. Bad. 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 All right. I'll write All that right, down. I'll write bad, that down. Bad, bad, bad. All right. What do you call Tinder full of disabled people? Oh my god! Woo! Woo! What? A vegetable market. <laughs> Yo, there was so many that I had to I had to look past because it was so bad. All right, let's go. All right, that was that bad. Why, why why can't you fool an aborted baby? Why? Because it wasn't born yesterday. That was ass. That was ass? Yeah. How does how does a how does a black woman fight crime? Uh, Have an abortion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <coughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What did the Boston Marathon do that Hitler couldn't do? Nah, this is getting crazy. <laughs> what? End a race. Wow. <laughs> Niggas is crazy. That's bad, bro. <laughs> this is so bad. It gets so much worse. Oh, my gosh. End the race is nuts. It's so bad. All right, go ahead. <laughs> um, what's better than winning gold at the parallel? Paralympics. Walking. I knew it. I, I, why did I think that was coming, bro? I just didn't think it was that, like, that, that like, easy. Oh, God, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, bro. All right, I got two more, bro. Who are the fastest readers? 
Who? Who? Nine Eleven victims. Do you want? Oh to- my gosh! Do you want to know why? No, I don't want to know why. Maybe do you want to know why? Do you want to know why, people? Because they went through ninety stories in ten seconds. End the pod. <laughs> end the pod. End the pod. End the pod. End the pod. That was bad. That one is bad. Wait, hold on. You said you was able to skip through some of them, that, and you didn't skip through that one? That was Crazy way, work. That was way worse, bro. That was way worse? It was way worse. This wasn't that bad. All right. I got one last one. Why do black, why do black people have nightmares? Why? Be- because they killed the last one who had a dream. <sighs> people, this is all jokes and fun and giggles, you know. This is the No Regulars Podcast. We're here to make you laugh. And tell you about stories that they don't tell you on the internet. Don't take it seriously. <laughs> don't take it seriously <laughs> at all, bruh. But I was never here. Fritz is not here. I'm not here. But you know, yo, it's the new year. Happy birthday, Jamario. Happy birthday, Jamario. Happy oh birthday, my Jamario. gosh. He was better forget. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to one of the realest, one of the first. People to watch our podcast from the very first beginning. The one who called out Fritz for all the shit he says. And he the one, does? Uh, sometimes. Okay. Shout out to my man Jamario from the Barbados. Either Barbados or Bermuda, bro. Happy birthday to you, my Barbados. brother. And I think his birthday's Friday. Oh, happy birthday. So Jamario. if you're seeing this, sk- I'll, I'll put a time code for this one, bro. Skip all the way to the end, bro. Shout out to you, my brother. For, thank you for supporting us. All that stuff. Thank you for always, you know, DMing me, asking me things and, uh, Talking to us and shit like that. We appreciate all the love and support. But you got anything else you want to tell him, bro? Give him some words of wisdom for the new year, bro. How old is he be turning? I don't know. I think he's around our age, so maybe like 24. Yo, Jamario, man. Comment your age in the in the comments, bro. Yeah, comment your age in the comments. Everybody bro. say happy birthday, Jamario, in the happy comments, bro. Happy birthday, Jamario, man. Hope you have a blessed new year. Um, Thank you for your support. Thank you for your uh constant like feedback when it comes to our podcast you know what i'm saying we need friends not our friends but supporters like you mm-hmm. if, if everyone was supportive like jamario man we we'd be up we'd be up but you know Crazy, hey but, it's all good bro. that's but, how life works it's gonna yeah, come bro. but you know i hope you have a blessed you know your birthday hope you have a blessed and to many more bro you and your family appreciate y'all bro you if i ever pull up to barbados or bermuda I hit you up, man. Yes, sir. But you got any wisdom to tell the people of the new year, bro? You got to speak some wisdom to the kids, bro, or to the people or to the people that watch us. Uh, just make sure you, uh, damn, my nigga. Want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Why? I don't know. I wasn't waiting for it. I was going to just be happy and shit for no reason. Niggas don't be excited for this pod, bro. These <laughs> niggas take this podcast for granted. <laughs> so, <coughs> oh, I just want to tell whoever's watching this podcast, man. If you want to do something new this year, if you want to start something new, you want to do something out of the ordinary, you want to change your life, don't be afraid to do it. Don't be afraid to take the risk because in life, you always got to take risks, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a purpose in their life. If And you, it's up to you to choose what you want to do. It's up to you. Yep. You it's can up sit. Think his ass up. You can sit on your ass all day. If that's your purpose <laughs> oh in life, that's God. all fine. But, you know, niggas like me and Fritz, bro, we got things to do, bro. We got goals to reach. Yes, sir. We got achievements to unlock. We yes, got sir. different levels to keep leveling up, bro. I always said, bro, my purpose on here, bro, on this world, I build bridges, bro. Yep. I build bridges. I don't know. I may not know how long it's going to take me for to build this bridge. I may not know how far it is to get to the new world. But all I know is once this bridge is built, bro, Generations. Yes, sir. Generations. Talk to him. Hold on. Sound like a preacher. Generations. Yes, sir. We'll be using this bridge to oh, go to the new world amen, that we are going bro. to cre- create for them. Bro. Amen, bro. So this is your sign right now. This year, 2024, it is time to get up off your ass and yep. get shit done, bro. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? That Real was shit. beautiful. You know what I'm saying? That was beautiful. <laughs> that got me hype. And I'm Real about shit. to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was beautiful right there, bro. That was great. Yo, all I need to say, man, is just I'm not a big fan of the resolutions. I'm a big fan yeah, of, nah. of just be a better person 
than you were before, bro. Yep. Just as as long as you elevating in whatever aspect that you're that you want to elevate in mentally, physically, emotionally, sp- financially, spiritually, whatever. Mm-hmm. Just try to be. Just try to become better. As long as you try, it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna. Mm-hmm. It's not Real gonna shit. be the easiest thing to do. But you have another three hundred sixty five, and the, those who don't, man, praise to y'all. But you know, like we have another three three hundred sixty five, man. So you just try to become better, man. Be just a better be person. Be a better bro. person overall. Overall, you like, don't gotta change. Better. You just gotta add some. You just gotta add, yeah. You just gotta like add you some don't. No bro. one's telling you to change. No one's telling you to be a whole different person. Just be a better person Real than nigga. you are than you were before. That's it, man. Real nigga shit, bro. That's it, bro. If you're afraid of doing something because it's hard, you shouldn't be doing it in the first place, bro. If you if you're doing something and it's hard, you're doing the right thing, my yes, nigga. Sir. Yes, sir. We didn't get here off of easy shit. We didn't get lucky, nigga. This is hard work. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. But you got any last words, Fritz? Damn, nigga, I just said something. You want to say shit, goodbye? Like, oh, goodbye, guys. <laughs> like, fuck. I, be, I, be, I appreciate y'all support, man. It's the different. We different than the regulars. The really good. These niggas have not learned it. this. I forgot it. We different. They regular no regulars, man. Gangsta. Yeah, Y'all niggas haven't learned this forever, I'm bro. I'm sorry. Bro. All right, bro. I forgot it. <laughs>